that's where we are. Man, the headache's gonna make Yay. so much fun. Yeah. 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 What's up? <laughs> We're all like, let's be high energy, but I don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we're here. Let's have an energy drink. Who's here? Who's here? Well, we'll do hey, that. See, that's the point. Why do we not have one of those? Why do we not have a talk of the time and energy drink? We've got oh, God. talk of the time and everything else. Because we, we don't even have coffee. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Or tea, I guess, right? We should uh, have uh, oh. Mad Hatter do a talk of the tavern coffee for us. Oh. That would be awesome. Yeah, I'll tell you more about him in a minute because I got a I got a care package from him. If you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking, maybe we need to not stream on Twitch until, like, you know, the disclaimer on the uh, radio stations go away. That's a thought. Probably. Yeah. It's true. So we'll yeah. just sit here. I'm a thinker. No, so, <laughs> I hate <guess>. Twitch. <laughs> Mm. Oh, let me, I'll post that we're live. Yeah, we are live. If anybody wants to post that on their Twitter and everything. And uh, we're coming live on the stations right about now. Hey, Matricula Wobble Hey, everybody. (laughs) 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 Welcome to Monday, November 20th episode of Talk of the Tavern. Whose line is it anyway? We did this one other time before and oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let me introduce people. Yeah, it's great. I'll introduce our regulars right. first. We have the boss for the evening, Andrea. Yeah, I am. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm here. I have coffee, lots of coffee, and a bell. It's like you're just advertising Starbucks right there. Am I? It's reusable cup. This is actually, well, it is Starbucks She's coffee. She's very environmental aware. Yeah. But something. it is Starbucks coffee. That's three times we've mentioned that now. So if you're watching and you work for Starbucks, you know. Pay up. Um, I need some more Starbucks coffee. Throw a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then the, the other boss coffee of the bit. evening is uh what what would she what would she, what should we call you tonight, Ed? Do you want a special title or anything? No, I can be Andrea's slave or a bitch. I don't care. <laughs> See, <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Where we get to call you, Hi, Ian. Ian. <laughs> Oh, no. Lord help us. <laughs> Just wait. It gets worse. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, uh, our, our local... We have we have bonus Brits tonight, but the original Brit, Kevin Crew. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. I'm uh, drinking coffee, as always, due to the ridiculous time here in the UK. And smoking hand rolled drum tobacco. Ed, what are you drinking and smoking tonight? Oh, uh, honey tobacco, vaping, and I'm drinking a Pinot Noir. Nice. Now, let's see. Should we introduce the foreigner or the hot guy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with the awesome, incredible Matricula. Hi, how are y'all? Hey, let's do that shout out thing real quick. Hold on, keep you tell us what you're drinking and all that, and I will do this. Oh, uh, well, tonight uh, I am um, I am drinking a um, a white a white tea with ginger. Mm-hmm. Um, I have not yet imbibed of um, the uh, the devil's courage, but uh, and <laughs> I, uh, I I I don't smoke. Okay, you don't get on. To. You're just smoking hot. Oh. That's right. ah, you guys are so sassy. I'm so excited. Thank you for that shout out. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, <laughs> my, my, wow, I can't even say second favorite Brit because now that's like insulting to him and he's our guest. I thought he, he was Australian. He, <laughs> my favorite guy who sounds like he's from an island of prisoners and convicts. Golly. The leader of the last airship. We've had him on before, Greg Chapman. Well, good evening, and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say now, because <laughs> now, now I feel like I'm overdoing the Australianness in my accent. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am British, people. I am. I'm not Australian. I am British. Honestly, it's true. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm so defending that. I, I, I've, I've got a problem. <laughs> I, I, now you seem really it, self-conscious. I just want to make it clear. I don't want to offend anyone here. Okay, I, I don't have a problem with Australians. They have every right to live in this world. Mm-hmm. I'm just not one of them personally. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's all. Mm-hmm. A little prison mm-hmm. island. That's not a nice. Yeah. <laughs> what are you drinking, Greg? Because it sounds like uh, you've I'm, had a I'm, bit. I'm, uh, 
I'm still on the uh, Jack Daniels single barrel. I got a feeling it's a bottle I actually opened up last time I was on the podcast. Which uh, does does your glass also say Jack Daniels? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not advertising Starbucks. If I'm going to get, that's synergy. That's reasonable. Oh, and I'm Travis Sivart, the host. What am I drinking? I have a gin and tonic, and because I have migraine starting, I've got an energy drink, juice monster, gin, and I'm smoking. What am I smoking? Oh yeah, Cornell and Deal Black Dog. It's a nice, strong, pungent English tobacco. Not from <laughs> English blood. Um, did I cover? Yeah, we're not that? known for our tobacco fields. Oh, God. No. oh gosh, no. Okay, so far the only one I see chatting with us is Ian. Oh, Ian and hey, Jamie Ian. have joined us tonight. Hey guys, good to see Boys, you. Boys, how's it going? What's up? Why do you guys always stop talking when I say something? What is that? <laughs> oh, you're the host. You're the host. We're trying to be we're, deferential. We, oh. We're hanging we on your every word. We are on your every word. Yes, yes. Ah, you yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, golly. Okay, let me go put some shoes on now. <laughs> oh, boots, waiters, yeah. Mm. So anybody okay. have anything really awesome happen in the past seven days? Yes. Huh? What do you have, Ed? My bar is now set back up. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Yay! Yay! Does that mean we can come over and drink now? Yeah, someday soon. Okay. Sunday soon? <laughs> someday soon. So, like, Wednesday? <laughs> no. <laughs> Busy Thursday. Maybe Friday. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah. Now, now somebody else had something else go on. Which one was? Which one of you? No, nobody had anything. <laughs> no, 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 anything. no, nothing happened this, this whole week. Well, Greg, you're working on like a YouTube series, a steampunk it, YouTube series. I was going to say, I'll tell you what I did have this happen this week. I actually had uh, some of the last footage come in for uh, the last <laughs> airship, which is my uh, steampunk web series. And the thing with this uh, web series is, it's been my little baby, and I've I've overseen every single shot. You know, I've filmed every bit myself. I've been there on set every single day, except for one tiny little bit. And you know, I thought, who can I trust with a little piece of my web? Who can I trust? Who can I rely on? Oh, I know. Travis. He's a reliable guy. I'm quite sure they can't, this can't possibly go wrong. So, um, I, I think in, I that said... one, in that one statement, Greg, you just proved all the rumors about British eccentricity ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I did send him a script oh. for the episode, and I've, I've, I've got back hours of material, I'm sure. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a 30-second scene he's in, but I've got hours of material to work with. <sighs> True story. Not that I yeah. overact the play for the camera. It's sending you back apocalypse now. So where do we find um you said it's a it's a web series? Where do I find Last Airship? At the moment Last you find Airship. it on my computer where it's just <laughs> driving me wild. A couple of weeks' time, um, it'll be up on the YouTubes. I'll probably put it up on Twitch. I'll put it up everywhere. But um the lastairship.com is your go-to link to find out all about it. So, uh, yeah, check that out, thelastairship.com, because I like to make things complicated. It's not just lastairship.com. That would have been too easy. You've got to have the, the last airship. <laughs> all right. I have, all really, right. I have this bad habit of naming things in a way that makes them really difficult to search for online. I'm not much good at that at all. <laughs> we get it. Okay. So, Quick uh, shout out to Sonar. Yeah. Sonar. Hey, Sonar. You guys, Sonar, Jamin, get over here on Twitch. It's going to be a very visual and, and, and visceral show tonight. Mm. I have my hat. Yay hat. Don't show it to us yet. It's a surprise. I don't even yeah. remember what we were doing with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly. All right. So the, okay. the, I'm what I'm Julia hearing is... We're supposed to have a hat. That's... <laughs> What I'm had. hearing is that the people in charge are uh, unsure what's happening. So, oh, I know what's happening. At I'm all. glad you do. <laughs> it's like government. It was. Yeah. Well, you know. Not knowing what's really going on is what we built this show on. <laughs> hey, Ed. Number ten. 
Okay. Hey, by okay. the way, a quick okay. shout out to King Steampunk. Thanks for following us. As well as tonight, we also had um, Greg. Follow us and subscribe. Thank you so much for that, sir. And last but not least, hold on, I got to go down here because I forget the other name. Stacking Fire joined us and started following us tonight. So welcome oh. to you guys. Oh, do you know Stacking hey. Fire? Hey, Stacking yeah. Fire. Yeah, he's he's an awesome nerd person. Nice. It's like Hi, Hollywood. awesome nerd person. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like Hollywood Squares, Ian. It's whose line is it anyway? It does. It does. Oh, I get my. the vibe, though. I'm I with you. Yeah. Yeah, I got uh, it. Yeah, I move things around on the on the Twitch screen as you guys can see. If you've seen it, where Talk of the Tavern is now oh. in the middle, and I'm in the corner, so I get to make myself can bigger or smaller it? just by pulling and tugging. Oh, Ooh. yeah, that's Ooh. so it begins. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So that's a few dirty. Things. Did anybody else have anything that went on this week that you guys want to talk about? Plan this show. <laughs> Good. Okay, so I'll talk about my shit. <laughs> um, now, Andrea and I, like last Tuesday, we're like, we're going to do Taco Tuesday and see Thor. And then oh, yeah. it was a bad day and we didn't go. Then Wednesday, we're like, we're going to do, <laughs> nope, nope. So fi fi finally, we plan it for Saturday. We go have tacos. Then we go see Justice League and Thor in the same theater. Without, and we actually paid for it because, you know, matinee prices. Um, which, by the way, have you guys... We went from one to the other. Have you seen these two movies? Anybody? I'm seen I saw either, Thor. Yeah. And so, Chris Hemsworth bicep. Uh, my opinion, best, <laughs> best Thor movie yet. Yeah. They, they did it right because they removed the romantic <laughs> subplot that was so unnecessary. Yeah, and they just together. made it. Yeah, they embraced the the goofiness of right. it, you know, and right. in a way that's not. It I didn't like make it cheesy. It was just fun. Right. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it gave it a lot more like personality. That. Um, now, uh, Justice League. By the way, oh. I feel it's a great follow up to Wonder Woman. If you've seen that and enjoyed that, I think you're oh, gonna yeah, enjoy yeah. Justice League. And I won't go into spoilers or anything, but uh. Yeah. Hey, Gray, we've got a song by you coming up in our third hour. So good to see oh, you, buddy. Gray. Hi. Hey, Gray. Hi, Gray. Hi. Yeah, don't forget, guys, if you see somebody pop in chat, just interrupt everybody with saying hello to them. Let them know. You know, like, like on <laughs> Twitter, Norm. Don't call him Norm. Anyhow. <laughs> Unless it is Norm. That's true. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> Especially hey, we need a Norm. We need Norm McDonald and his wiener dog from his yeah. time show. <laughs> and his wife. He had a wiener dog in his TV show named Wiener Dog. Really? Yeah. And by the way, speaking of Norm <laughs> MacDonald, we have watched The Orville this week. Mm. And guys that was and great. ladies, yeah, I'll tell you, it is the best sci-fi show I've seen. Oh? Yeah. It kicks ass yes. over any Star Trek I've seen. Now, I have not seen Star Trek Discovery. And by the way, I have never watched Babylon 5. So if you're a Babylon really? 5 fan, yeah, I know. I'd go figure. Um, Do you like I, I mean, I, I have friends who are way more sci-fi geeky than me, and I've watched nearly all of Babylon 5. I just never like, had Like, how did chance. you skip that one? Because in the 90s, I didn't have cable. <laughs> and it's not on <laughs> I just <laughs> didn't pay for it. Um <laughs> Yes, yes. I uh, agree, Ian. I agree. Yeah, Ian Better says... Better Superman. Uh, see, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if that was a spoiler or else if that's in the trailers about that. But yes, what I feel a lot of people had a problem with, with Man of Steel and Batman versus Superman, even if they didn't realize it, they Superman was too dark and too unsure of himself. And in mm -hmm. Justice yeah, League, uh, he is Superman. confident, strong sure of himself and the beacon of hope and strength that we've all looked up to for so many generations now. And they brought that in. And I think that's what people were bitching about and whether they knew it or not. Wait a minute. You're telling me Superman's really alive. Sorry to spoil. No. <laughs> I will say uh, in the older Superman movies, not older, but like the, the, the ones from the last few years before this, um, it was like this, someone did a comparison of like just the 
color saturation. Like you've got like Superman in basically like a blue gray suit sailing through like really gray cloudy skies. And it's just not a very um, Superman feel motivational image. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, which I understand that. If now started, they have Aquaman. Yes. Which some people are like, oh, more like Aqua Bro. Okay, whatever. I, I was entertained. That's all I care about. Oh, is he a Brit? Hey, Victoria, good to see you. Oh. I didn't know he was British. Hi, Vic- oh, hey, Victoria. Hello, Victoria. <laughs> but by the way, Hi. Henry Cavill did a <laughs> test. He went out in public as himself and got recognized a little bit. He went out like Clark Kent with the glasses and everything, got recognized a ton more. <laughs> the glasses work. Yeah, they do. Uh, but yeah, back no to arguments Orville. here. The Orville <laughs> is great, and it's amazing as they throw in these little jokes, those little one-liner jokes, as entertaining as they are, give you so much more character depth because it shows you that character's personality. And they have one character, the parents are like, oh, you know, did you go to the bathroom this week or whatever? And those little things, which are just one line or less, it's character development. And these other series don't get to that till year three. Mm -hmm. So check out the Orville. Yeah, nice. Oh, you hate all the Orville characters, Towie. Aw. Aw. Are just no. none of them, like, li- are they all, like, I haven't watched it, but, like, is the whole point that they're unlikable people, no. or are they just not likable? They're people. They're kind of like us. Yeah. They're <laughs> um, now, there are a few I didn't They're not I, all people. I have, yeah, it's true. Norm MacDonald plays a green goo. <laughs> it's great. He's yeah, just a like a ball of music running down, or yeah. something. Yeah, he's like that guy from the Mucinex commercials. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Ooh. Are we boring you? Ew. Do you need, do you need a No, no, I'm drinking more caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> They're like coworkers you hate, which is why I'm not. See, I don't hate them. I, well, I hate all people. So I don't hate them <laughs> any more than anybody else. So. I don't think I've ever worked with a ball of mucus, but I have. still time. <laughs> okay. I had one as a boss once. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I've worked with all three iterations. I've worked with balls, I've worked with mucus, and I've worked with a ball of mucus. Usually, that escalated quickly. Yeah, usually I'm rolling it on my finger and trying to flick it off. Yeah. Can we start the show? Yeah, let's do the toast. <laughs> <laughs> no escape. Now, for those of you listening or watching and didn't see the original or listen to the original because we weren't on video then, we did this once before, I think in 2014. 14 incredibly funny show i think our best show ever um at least for entertaining me my cheeks hurt for days afterwards it was great and i'm really looking forward to na- to tonight so uh <laughs> thank you to ed and andrea That's a lot of yeah no pressure <laughs> yeah yeah well, set the bar thank yeah. you oh, here's to bars yeah drink to that here. here's the drinking to that um, thank you to Ed and Andrew uh, for hosting it tonight. I'll just be calling out times for songs. And thank you to Greg and Matricula for joining us. And thank you to for Kevin for not being from a prison island like some other Brits we know. <laughs> you guys. Right, they're all drinking drinking up. Again. Damn. Gotta get loosened up, ready to go yeah. here. Now let's go into a song on the radio station. I'm, I'm listening. Oh, oh, oh. What, what? Before we do, yes. let, let's, since the first one calls for audience participation, we'll get them to write their stuff while the song's playing. Um, uh-huh. Audience, I need strange addictions. Nice. Now you guys can post this in, on the Facebook event page or in the Twitch chat. Uh, so let's go into the first song, which is going to be... Harry Belafonte would jump in the line, and we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Woo-hoo. Okay, now, of course, you guys on Twitch, you get to stare at us the whole time, so meh. Hi. I'm going to go top off my, uh, yeah. my water. 
Oh, no. this, this is time. my. Um, I'm going to stand up, and you're going to see me stand up. <laughs> you're going to see her top off. So, <laughs> yes, Greg. Well, wow! Don't everybody so post the strangers at, at the space. same time? <laughs> <laughs> wow! No one getting involved. Come on! If you're watching us on Twitch, get involved. Give us a strange addiction. Any, yeah. anything. Give him something to work with. <laughs> Just name something strange. Me. Yeah. Remember. Oh, right. Sorry. I, the addiction. Well, they, wow. well, if a listener says that, maybe. <laughs> Come on, listeners. Yeah, your strange addiction name could be strange. Kevin. It could be Brits. It could be coffee. Hey, look at everybody who has joined us over here. Uh, yeah, it's, okay. it's eight people in here. Give, okay, there we go. Thank you, Talking Howie, <laughs> Unwrapping Mummies. <laughs> Way to go, win. Why is that strange? Oh, you know what? Hey. For everybody on, on Twitch, while we're burning through some songs here on the stations, I will tell you, we got a package from Madison Hatter of Mad Hatter Tea Company this week. Um, now, a lot of this is prizes or something for MarsCon in January. By the way... Uh, you got a little notebook from Jen also, Andrea. We got Ceiling Demons' latest album, Nil. It's awesome. We're going to be playing a song from that. We got some Cafe Wonderland coffee. Let's see if I can figure out what kind. Hey uh, I think it's just... Oh, Imperial Arabica. Arabica. And Dormouse Fair Trade. So we're going to try those nice. and review those. And then, of course, we got some Mad Hatter tea. And, uh, yeah, good times. There's all that. So, check out Mad Hatter T. There's his bag. I'm holding his plasticky sack. You're, hold, you're holding his sack. I was about to say, there's someone's sack. It's like, I come back and there's sacks. <laughs> yeah. I have a leathery sack. Ian, give us a weird addiction. Give us a strange addiction. I mean, don't give it Just to us like, you know, thing. share your heroin with us. Just, you know... <laughs> Although, if you have heroin, we'll talk. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Greg, you're a yeah, sci-fi writer. you got to have something here. Um, and Jamin, just pull anything from your background, man. Yeah, come on. Come on, yeah. people. Come on. Come on. So, I know. I know. I know y'all know weird stuff. Don't hold yeah, out on that's, me. That's yeah. the problem. They're like, I don't want to tell anyone any of the weird stuff. I it doesn't have to be what you're addicted to. Although that will be our assumption, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. We don't judge you, but we judge you. Never unwrapped a... <clears throat> One time I um I knit so much that I like injured my hand. I had a repetitive stress injury from <clears throat> constant knitting for like weeks. From, from constant knitting? <laughs> and yeah. think that no, just, just I just was just knitting. I just didn't stop knitting, and then like my wrist is still like, like I had like I couldn't I feel my you. thumb because I pinched a nerve. That's what I told people too. It was the knitting that yeah, the wrist yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I promise it was the knitting. Oh, I thought she said shitting. <laughs> you hurt your wrist with constant no. shitting. This, this just that why, that, why, that why, gripping and bearing <laughs> down. <laughs> This is why I get my wife to crochet these blankets so I can pretend that's how I've got my wrist cramps. Those are very fine blankets. So she's an awesome blanket maker. She's blessed her. She took it up just because I have an heirloom crochet blanket that my mother made. And my oh. mum passed away when I was younger and it's kind of one of the only things I still own from her. And we're back. Uh, For those of you listening uh, on Radio <laughs> Real or, or White Party Radio, if you are over here in... La La Land. No, no, the event page on Facebook. Make sure you post <laughs> a strange addiction that it'll go with the show. Oh, there we go. It doesn't have to be yours, but it's fine. Ed, is there anything on um, Nothing Facebook? on Facebook. By the no. way, Brett Literally. just said, my kids say I have a strange addiction to Puddles Pitter Pity Party. Saw the picture with you and Puddles. Well done, man. And thanks for joining us tonight. Not Appreciate Piddle it. Party. No. Hey, Brett. There you go. A piddle okay. party. That's something Puddles entirely different. Pity party. <laughs> okay, guys. Need two more. Need two more. Or do you have something under? So we're gonna okay, we're about people. to play a game, right? Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. 
Okay, listeners on Twitch or Facebook, wherever, name two objects, mm. two things. Just name two things. Look around your room, pick something, guys. Did I mention I'm drinking a gin and tonic with a uh, touch of lime? I don't know if I said that earlier. Yeah, and an energy you. drink. You're getting younger by the week, so I swear, Travis, next week you'll be smashing down Jaeger bombs and Sambuca shots. Here we go. Gray threw awesome, out a Gray. few ideas. Okay. Okay. okay, guys. Uh, pick a number, Travis. Four. Okay. Everybody else pick a number, not Ed. One, three, four. Pick a number. Pick one, two, three, guys. One. Two. Ah. Oh, no. You, you have one. to walk. <laughs> three. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> the rest of the numbers. <laughs> the roll of the dice is four, so... Okay. Hold on one second. Travis. Yes. You are going to be the leader. This is called Addicts Anonymous. The other three contestants, Kevin, Matricula, and Greg, you're going to attend a meeting run by Travis for your strange addiction. Okay. Um, Kevin, you have a strange addiction addiction to pickled pig feet. <laughs> um, Greg, yours is imitating bird calls. Matricula, you're unwrapping mummies. And uh, what, what are we doing? Just you're, you're doing a meeting. For, <clears throat> yeah. No, no. no yeah, it's I, an addiction I, meeting. I know that. It's I. I was running the meeting. I was just asking what the hell Greg was doing, coming in here. Oh. <coughs> that, that, well, my name's Greg, and um, um, Polly want a cracker. Polly want a cracker. Um, I've, I've got this um, kind of addiction to, to to imitating different. <laughs> Birds. Um. Well, thank you for joining us, Greg, you little cuckoo. You. And what about you, uh, lovely young lady? Um, hi, my name is Matricula. Hi, Matricula. And uh, thank you. I'm I'm here. Okay, so it's a long story. All right. So um, I ah! am technically technically married. I am technically married, and um. My husband staged an intervention because I have this thing where I've gotten, listen, everybody has hobbies, but I'm really into grave robbing now. And um, what, I, what I'm what i chasing is since I don't have the money to get to, to Egypt to do some really proper colonialist tomb robbing is I've just been digging up randos uh, nearby. And um, what I really want to do is like really get in there. Like, you know how some people are like really into popping zits? Like, that's how I feel, but about like unwrapping and unsheathing layers and layers of fabric from cadavers. And like just thinking about it, I'm getting a little excited. Um, it's it's just, it's a lot. Step over it's a to lot. Our, our, our third member tonight. Uh, it's the, the, the tall fellow there. You want to tell us a little bit about yourself? <laughs> Sorry, you caught me in the mouthful. Um, that's what she said. Um, yeah, hi, um, my name's Kev. Um, I'm that's here because uh, I have I have a foot fetish. Um, <laughs> it's a slightly unusual foot fetish. Uh, uh, I'm addicted to eating um, pickled pig's feet. Uh, um, you, you yeah, not call women that here. Uh, no, uh, sorry, man. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, Matricula, I'm quite interested by by your addiction. Like when you're out grave robbing and stuff, I don't suppose do you ever like hang around like abattoirs or anywhere where you might like come across awful? I'm thinking maybe you and I should have a chat at the tea and biscuits section later on, you know. Anyway, um yeah, uh, so I excuse me. Oh, sweet vinegary goodness. Um yeah, <laughs> sorry, um I think I've got my addiction pretty well under control. Uh, um, yeah, I'm just I'm just here because my therapist thinks it, it will earn me some really good credits towards getting that injunction lifted. Okay, uh, um, <clears throat> and I'm the oh, leader. Oh. So what the hell I'm leading here? Um, Greg, do you, do you have a little something to add? Oh, <laughs> the uh, um, right around the corner, sir. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, well, my <laughs> biggest biggest problem with um, imitating Sorry, the bird calls girl. is. Is, is that I'm not actually very good. Ah, crack up, crack up. I'm not actually very good at imitating bird calls, but I'm addicted to doing it. Um, d- just despite my car, ah, despite my inability to actually to to actually poly want to crack do it. <clears throat> okay. Oh my god, that's are guys, horrible. Are you guys 
bird in here, or is that just another vinegar and juice flashback? <laughs> By the way, real oh, quick, I... let me encourage yes. everybody, don't forget at any point in time, just above the video screen, you'll see the word clips or somewhere around. Oh, wait, no, it's in the bottom right, isn't it? Yeah, in the bottom right oh, of your yeah. screen, you'll see the little director's <clears throat> thing. You can click that, and it will clip the last 30. She dinged the bell, Matricula. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It's over. The, the scene is over. Done? Oh. It's over. You can, you I'm really enjoying. I did I did knit this. Um, I'm, I'm really engaging uh, with this mm. this uh, headband that I made. Nice. Feels, feels real good, actually. The first time I've really seen nice. the rest so with bird noises before. Okay. Wow. Okay. I gave points. Kevin, you you're weird, but fifty points. You you, you kind of won that one. Ew. That's really nasty. Hey, I've got to work with what I'm given. You give me pickle pigs feet, I'll work with it. It only gets worse from here, guys. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, listeners, give me a scene from a movie. Your favorite scene from a movie or show, something that people would kind of know, like the death scene of Godfather or, you know, something. Throw it out. We need a scene. Well, while we're waiting for that, once again, I'll say... <clears throat> <laughs> Um, don't forget, you can throw clips. If you click that clip thing in the lower right-hand corner, it will automatically create a 30-second clip of the previous 30 seconds, and it will save it so other people can view what you thought was funny or or stupid. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So okay. far, <laughs> are we doing number two first? Mm -hmm. Ed asked if you're Did doing you get my message? Two. Oh. Mm -mm. Okay. No, I I figured just random. I rolled okay. the dice and it came up All with right. seven. Okay. Got it. Got it. I don't know if you saw my message. Got um, it. Because I kind of put them in alphabetical order. So. Apparently they spent um, the whole week organizing this behind the scenes. It's, no, yeah. just today. We did. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. The fight. The sword fight in Princess Bride, who drowned in the Titanic. Oh my god, okay. I'm sword fighting with knitting Travis. needles for Grey. We're, we're going to have Travis and Matricula do the sword fight from Princess Bride, and Greg and Kevin do the drowning scene from the end of Titanic. So we're just acting this out then, huh? You are recreating this scene. Okay, Ed, you pick who goes first. Uh, are they going to do it in a different style? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's inevitable. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be like the movie. Do Travis, do you want to give them fight? a style? Who's doing the sword fighting scene from Princess Bride? Matricula and Matricula. Travis. Do that as a Western. <laughs> <laughs> we ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have to pick who goes first. Well, we're, we're going first. Okay. We so, going first. Do, do we want to pick characters ahead of time? or You just start, and I'll follow. Whatever. <laughs> Howdy. I've been chasing you up this cliff. Hey, y'all. Did you kill my paw? Let me see your fingers. I have five fingers with which to grip my sword, See, which I is a, a six-shooter. Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's it's. My sword. I have blank. a sword with six sides. <laughs> Six-sided sword. It's very fancy. So, so like a club. <laughs> um, you could call it more of a mace. I will I will beat you to death with my my mace which I hold in my five fingered left left hand. Well, I want to let you know that I'm really good. <laughs> then it shall be an honor to fight someone as good as you. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I don't know what the hell that was. 
Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I... Yeah. Greg, you want to be man or woman? <laughs> I'll give you the choice. I'll give you the choice. Um, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go Rose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you you want to start? It's a comedy. Obviously, it's a comedy. So. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> I say it looks mighty cold in that water. Do you want to come and get on board this piece of wood? <laughs> no, no, it's it's absolutely fine, darling. Uh, despite the fact that the aerial camera shot clearly shows there's enough room for both of us to survive on this piece of wood, I love you so much I will actually choose an icy drowning death rather than save myself easily. I, I don't know, it kind of feels like you're, um, you're trying to get out of this relationship, like you didn't think it was going to last. Well, you, you say relationship, I say you got naked within five minutes of meeting me and there was some jewellery involved, but neither of us ever committed to anything on paper, you know? Yeah, but it just kind of feels like you, you, you were hoping the boat was going to sink, let's be honest. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, there's no correlation between that and me disappearing earlier on with that case of dynamite in the direction of the bow of the ship and uh, the iceberg's purely coincidental. And I'm really, really going to miss you, but I can kind of feel my grip on both this situation and this piece of wood slipping away. So, Okay, well, but call it how you is. I'm not accepting it. It was that cold in the car earlier as well. I know that well, was your excuse. I know you said it was icy cold, but come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what can I say? You know, at the, at the end of the day, you're actually a French lady, but. <laughs> oh, I thought you had a cowbell. You need a cowbell. Oh, that's. There, there's a cowbell in the yeah. bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> there it is, but I can't give that to that, that, I, I don't know what that was. You're a lovely woman, Greg. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's a tough decision. Who do you think gets that one, Ed? Uh, oh, it's got to be Greg, hands down. Giving it's pretty good. Ten thousand points. <laughs> <laughs> ten thousand. All right. You guys didn't do the intro right. to the show where you tell them, you know, the uh, points don't matter or whatever. You, what are they not going to say? <laughs> oh no 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 no! I got ten thousand. They matter now. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Important. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if you're getting my messages, Ed, but um, I, I got. I'm getting them. Okay. Eleven. All right, guys. Uh, is it time for a song? No, no. We, we've yeah, we've got it. Okay. Pick up the first thing, you guys, contestants. First thing yeah. you can put your hands on, besides your Johnson, Kevin. Oh, okay. Hold it up so everybody <laughs> can see it. You only said hand, anyway. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, Should we say what we're holding up yet, or? Uh, yeah, that, for no. those people just listening. Well, I'm holding uh, a tub Travis, you're holding a pen. Kevin, you're holding a tub of table salt. Greg, you're holding. Uh, I'm holding a, a saucer. And matricula. Uh, I'm holding a holographic matte glitter in the color Zoe. For God, okay. it's a nail, nail polish. polish. It's a nail polish. <laughs> I kind of feel I didn't describe my saucer enough now that you've gone into that much detail. <laughs> oh, but wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to assign them an order or just roll with it? What I just called that the name said. You just, yes. Okay. Whatever. Travis, yeah. you're on the Home Shopping Network. Sell your item, baby. Okay. You have 30 seconds. Oh, goodness. I just want to let you guys know about this great deal coming up. It's long, it's gray, it's thin, and it can be inserted into any bodily orifice, yours or somebody else's. And it is a bargain price of $17. But before you say that and, and say yes and just start calling in and bothering the fuck out of me, you little bastards, I want you to know um, that you also get my child with it as a bonus added thing. And this has not been in any of his or hers orifices. I say his or her because that child's sex <laughs> is optional. It's what you want to be. I am not labeling my own child, just so you know. So this pen, which, by the way, has this lovely little – here, listen. Oh, it for hours. Oh, yeah. Oh, cramp. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah, anyhow, and it has this thing that comes out at the end, and you could draw on people's 
sleeping faces, penises. It does penises very well. It did my penis earlier. Um, but yes, it's just like Grandma used to use on me when I was a kid. So please buy my pen and take my damn kid. Do we want to cut him a break yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to find the stopwatch on my phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gene. Thanks, hey, Kevin. Oh, yes. Hello, Gene. Thanks for joining us, Starlin. Kevin. Hi, Gene. Hey, uh, what and you we... came in on that note. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up, because today I've got a unique offer for you, and it's only available for one day. Yes, that's right, just one day. Exclusive table salt. Now, I hear you asking yourself, why would I want to buy table salt? Well, it comes for a variety of functions. Not only does it season your food, which frankly you Americans need because it's all fucking bland and tasteless and filled full of fat. You need some flavor in your food. So, That's salt adds flavor, flavor to yeah. food. It, it, we also use it to kill slugs, which is great entertainment in Britain. It's a very damp country. There's a lot of slugs here. Uh, so if you pour salt on them, they kind of shrivel up and die screaming horribly in a sort of violent slug-based animal death, which is great fun for entertaining your children on a slow Sunday afternoon after a roast dinner. Uh, and also uh, comes in two tones, implying uh, with the white and the blue, the sort of sense of the sea and the ocean, which it's never been anywhere near. We blast quarried it from the middle of Devon somewhere. Uh, and uh, yeah, finally, it's quite a weighty container. So in a home defense situation where we're not allowed to have handguns to defend ourselves, uh, you can pick it up and throw it at someone before they stab you in the face. So yeah, available only today, uh, normally three ninety nine each. But if you phone within the next 19 seconds, you can get two for £10. That's a special offer just for you today. Buy my salt, bitches. <laughs> I'm insulted. <laughs> oh, that was that was bad. That was wow. so bad. Spray bottle, you, Travis. <laughs> Yay me! Great. Sell your plate, baby. Well, here I uh, I'm selling the wonderful saucer with all of the uh, lovely decoration, the lovely painted work on it. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Greg, you're trying to sell me a, a saucer, but I'm not British. I'm an American, and as you know, we Americans don't need saucers to put our Starbucks mugs on. That's only for you British with your pots of tea. What am I going to do with that saucer? Well, there is a whole range of different things you can do with a saucer like this. You could you could use it as a as a little rain cover if you've got a pet mouse that you're taking out for a walk in the rain you can take it out obviously we actually have a lot of people buying these these are very very popular they're the perfect size if you happen to have an addiction to pickled pig trotters um, these are absolutely perfect you'll find they pile up nicely you can enjoy your pig trotters straight off the saucer you don't just have to use an um if you're learning to drive for example you could take your saucer you could use it you could uh you could pretend to use it as a pretend steering wheel obviously you've got to be quite a small person with a small car um so <laughs> Uh, you, you got to pretend steering wheel there, and uh, of course you always have the option of wearing it as a, as a hat as well, if you fancy wearing it as a hat. <laughs> Listen, I know that historically people have thought that nail polish is the purview of uh, women and female-bodied people, but no longer. No longer now that we have matte textured glitter nail polish to reflect the grit of your own soul, but still... When you feel like you have a softer side that maybe doesn't get expressed. So this nail polish, this is for boss bitches and badass dudes. Everything you could want is in this little bottle. This little bottle. I'm not saying it's going to magically make your life wonderful and happy. But I do want to note that there is holographic glitter which finishes to a rough textured finish so it's like you stuck your hand in tiny shards of holographic metal and i want to mention it is holographic not iridescent commonly mis misconstrued for the other and um this this actually is called zoe so you can channel your inner zoe whatever that may mean to you <laughs> Okay. I'm just gonna let it just let it I dot dot dot, dot right off. There. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, the funky okay. punk. Yes, you are typing in the chat. Good job. Way to get through. <laughs> hey, funky punk. Woo. I feel like we know who funky punk is, but don't remember. And yes, Ian, you are quite right about Kevin. All he needs to do is put on a dress shirt and bow tie, and yeah. We he, have a picture yeah. of him like that well, in the wait. store. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna actually paint my nails now. <laughs> Well, I, 
don't know if anyone knows on the chat, actually, anyone no watching on video, but I, I always nice. have one of my nails painted anyway. And it's, it's really annoying for me because basically this was the, what uh, my fiance came up with. I could have my nail painted on my left finger to symbolize the fact that we're engaged. Now, I can paint my nail to symbolize that, but she needed a thousand pounds worth of rings. So I don't know what that says about <laughs> equality. <laughs> yeah, she's very strong. <laughs> yes, so you're very strong. Now you get some holographic. Wedding ring? A holographic ring. wedding ring for all you hollow sexuals. See, I didn't get an engagement ring. I'm, I'm going to complain. Oh. You said, where, like, yeah, we skipped the engagement ring, too. Just I wasn't think she there. was trying to tell me so. something early on as well, because it's titanium, so it's indestructible. It's kind of like you've made the promise. <laughs> There's no fucking a getting out of there. <laughs> Good to see you, Chuck. Glad you finally made it in. Hey, Chuck. Hey, Chuck. He's one of the fat boys, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it's Chuck Schwa. It might be Chuck Schwa, but it might be Chuck White. Oh, oh, I love that. Chuck. That's amazing. Hmm? What? You love Chuck? Mm -hmm. What? No, Schwa. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Schwa. Uh, I did schwa. not have a scene for eight, Andrea, do you? Oh, yeah. Um. Well, okay, <laughs> listeners, it's up to you again. Your chance to participate. Um, Here's your <laughs> chance, Chuck. Name, name some quirks. Name a quirk. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, that last round, Kevin, you get negative 100 points for being such a believable salesman. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Amazing. a point, yeah. Who gets that round? Who do you think gets that round? Mm -hmm. Look at Travis. Uh, Y'all are in charge. <laughs> <laughs> Travis was talking about orifices of the child. So. Yeah, sure. Mm. We'll, we'll yeah. Give you 10 points for being a pervert. <laughs> yeah, we will. Jamin, if it's screwing up, go to the upper right hand corner where you see your name with the down arrow. Click on that. Make sure you're not mm. on beta. Because I've heard some people who have yeah. a problem when they're on beta. Yes. Um, take it out of beta, and that might fix issues you're having. Then again, it could just be your machine. Okay. And our by next the way, talking is... Cowie said speaking in rhyme. Ooh. Ooh. I know. I'm getting ready to address okay. that. Okay. Um, <laughs> and Funky Punk says farts in public. Oh. Ooh. I thought he was just Okay, we're going to try and work this all in. Okay, contestant, <laughs> you're at a funeral. Don't want to unwrap the dead body. <laughs> well, whatever. Um, you're going to speak in a, at a funeral of a person with a strange quirk. You sh and, and you're going to sing. So you have to sing at some point in this. And while you're singing, overemphasize W's. The person that had died, they had, they had a strange quirk of speaking in rhyme while farting in public. <laughs> So is this just Everybody the trachea? Wait. I'm confused about no, the rules. The <laughs> okay, so we all Good. of us are going to take like turns that. speaking about a person uh, who farted in public. Who has, a, who has a strange quirk of farting in public while speaking in rhyme. Okay, now, so, yes. while you speak about this person at the funeral, you have to overemphasize your W's, overemphasize W's, and sing. All of us? This is this is complicated. Mm -hmm. yeah, Do we is. have to sing You're along welcome. to me or just at some point in it? Just some point in it, you need to start singing and speak about this person. You're you're giving a eulogy <laughs> at a funeral. Who wants to go first? I okay. can go first. <sighs> Listen, our dearly departed friend Walter Whitaker. Listen, uh, I know that. Walter was sometimes hard for people to swallow. Um, but one of the things I really have admired about his whole life was his ability to just let go in so many ways. Just just to, to really experience the joy of living. Like one, always being exactly who they were, but not afraid to, well, let one go. Which it wouldn't. Isn't that something that we could admire, being that in touch with our own bodies? Hmm. And spirits, to speak in rhyme all the time and never whine. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> well, woman, well said. Now, what I wanted to say about dear Walter Whitaker is <clears throat> from deep inside, and I'm just going to let it all out. <laughs> Memories press between the pages of my mind. Quiet thought floating from them and settle softly to the ground, which reminds me of Walter, because he would often float them down and settle them <laughs> on the ground like a misty fog oh. from deep within. Great. And now he'll be in the ground. <laughs> that stinks. <laughs> Craig, did you have something to say about good old I, I did indeed, because um, we, we all know that uh, Walter Whitaker whiled away his time. Um, well, he, he did an awful lot in the in the brief time he had here in the world. Um, but really, what I remember most about Walter was the art uh, that he put into farting. Um, because, really, he, he had a lot of heart with his art, with the fart. Um <laughs> I mean, I mean, he would like to dart down to a, a shopping mart and what, while he was farting with his art and, you know, putting his heart into farting with the arting. And, um, and, and sometimes he would even take a horse and cart down to the mart when he was going to use his art of farting uh, while he was darting to the mart in his cart. And um, what I'm basically saying is he was a man who liked to, who, to rhyme uh, all the time. I don't blame him entirely. That was a bit of a stretch, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> it's rather sublime. Um, and uh, I, I would just like to say, um, uh, Kev Kevin, did you have anything you wanted to say about Dear Walter? Well, Walter Whitaker, what a wonderful man. Uh, I witnessed him once fart the guitar solo from Sweet Home Alabama. Um, <laughs> technically technically gifted man uh, brought so much love uh, he had uh, an odd pair uh, of, of afflictions which he brought to the public in such an entertaining way and indeed dedicated much of his life um, uh, to publicly performing uh, in a way that brought comedy and light and joy to so many people um, watching him once I was wonderfully entertained when he performed uh, the Rolling Stones Jumping Jack Flash uh, as we're all familiar uh, the crowd singing along with great gusto to the refrain well it's all right now in fact it's a guess uh, yes <laughs> what can you say about Walter Whip I'm, I'm full of whoa <laughs> <laughs> That had a lot of layers. Uh, wow. <laughs> like an onion. Wow. Oh, I should have done the, the cool. Oh, what cool, can I cool say? Whip. <laughs> that was very interesting. Yes, it was. Hmm. Oh. I'm a little, I, like, I like, um, I breathed in kind of a lot of nail polish just now, and I feel, <laughs> I feel very happy about it. So I like the rhyming that you did, Greg. That was great. I like the rhyming. 5,000 points for that. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Somebody finally picked a number. They picked number nine. Number nine. Number yeah, nine. Number nine. Okay, is it time for a song yet? Re redeem, Wobble. We have five yeah, minutes. Got it. Well, because this one's going to take a couple minutes because I have to message each of you okay. individually. Oh, we can go to a song now, come back with This Week in so History. So you could just talk. Okay, well, we'll go okay. to a song, come back with This Week in History. Cool. So our next song up <laughs> is from Mary Poppins. I love to laugh. We'll be right back. And you guys on Twitch, listen up for her to call out for help because they need help. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. Okay.
contestants, pick a number between one and eight. Seven. Four. Seven. Okay, four. Two. Two. Travis isn't here, so he gets that one. Um, are all of y'all on Facebook or anywhere you can get Messenger? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yep. Open it up. I'll have it open. Okay. For everyone still watching us on Twitch, just just enjoy us all checking our own Facebook messages. <laughs> <laughs> I can ring a jingle clip for you. Yeah, you can. <laughs> All right, I am on. I am on the Facebook. I don't know. Like I've, I started playing a Facebook game <laughs> where you're a medieval shopkeeper, <clears throat> and it's like medieval shop Farmville. And I've gotten kind of addicted. <clears throat> I have to turn my head sideways. So, what are the right. rules for the the game that we're gonna play? Oh, I guess now that Travis is back, we can say that too. I'll ex- I'll explain that. I'm gonna send each of you guys a card. Okay. Um. Hold on, the cat keeps taking my pen. Go away, cat. Mm. I've got one it's for sale. A cat. A pen. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Hold on a second. I have too many cats. I have everything everywhere. Okay. You can read your card. Oh. Good. I already did. <laughs> Where did you send it? Yeah, I haven't got yours yet. Hold on. Oh. Explains why I don't know where it is. Um, Explaining. By the way, for everybody watching on Twitch, if you scroll down below the video, you will see there is a place where you can purchase my books online. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, and we have 18 viewers currently, so thank you everybody for Ooh. joining us. Hi, friends. Hey, everybody. We love you hey, all. Hey, guys. A yeah. couple of new names I haven't everybody. seen before. Glad to have you along with us. Um. Mine is in the mail, Travis. It uh, mail M A I L. What is in the mail? It, it, well, it's uh, apparently my card, but that's mail as in oh. <laughs> USPS type mail, not mail as in masculine gender. I'm glad it's mm. not in the mail. <laughs> what, what's Greg doing? Oh, he's checking his thing. I'm, I'm trying to find out what this is, but Did, he, you can know, everyone I... see their cards? Yeah. Everybody got your card? No. Yes. Oh, yours is sending. Oh, I'm sorry. You I don't got know. it now? No. What? No. It's there. It's, I'm sending it. Oh, wait. It just came through. Hold there. on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. And I'm not going to keep track of it. So I got to do all this, huh? Okay. Because they picked number nine, and number nine on our list is acceptance speech. You have a card. <coughs> You're going to be doing an acceptance speech. Acceptance speech. We haven't figured out for what yet, but we will. Okay. Um, okay. And you have to hit all the points. Okay. Okay. There I'm saving go. it so I can rotate it. Sorry. Save. No, you're fine. You're fine. I got this. I got this. I got you. I like rotating. Hey. <laughs> oh, the chat is very delayed. Okay. Oh. So what? Uh, okay. So what are the the rules of the the? So so you're gonna have um, you're gonna have them pick out a thing to do the acceptance speech for. Mm-hmm. Some random thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then you give a speech, and you use those. I don't even remember which one I gave you guys. I'm just... No, we're good. We're good. So, hopefully you'll do it. (laughs) Okay. Brett's like, buy Matricula's EP, too. (laughs) Okay. Yes. Thank you for that plug, Brett. 
And to get back in the, I have the stuff open now too. Oh wait, uh, hold on. Do you have a link for that? Hold on. Oh, I do, I do. I have it pulled up. I'll post it. And we're back for for this week in history. What happened this week in history, Ed? This week in history, past events. We're skipping that shit because we got funny shit coming up. Current events. We're skipping that too. We're going straight to weird news. (sighs) A guy causes an accident while he's taking a dump on the side of the road. (laughs) <laughs> Greg, you are the guy that's taking the dump on the side of the road and you're going to be doing this as a gangster rapper <laughs> Kevin you're the police officer that is interviewing Greg asking him what is going on how did he cause this accident and you're going to be interviewing him as a redneck southern American cop <laughs> right. Okay. Start your interview now. I I say I say I say, boy, uh, what's uh, what's taking place here? You got your britches down around your ankles, and you're defecating by the side of the road. Yeah, man, I know my rights. You gotta uh, gotta let me express myself anyway, like I see fit, man. <laughs> Yeah, but you gotta understand, boy. I mean, behavior like this means you just don't fit around here. I mean, you you're saying I don't have a right? Today, you saying I don't have a right to wear my trousers low? Is that what you're saying, man? Uh, look, look, don't get me wrong. I, I, I ain't on in none of this racist stuff. You know, you won't catch me wearing a white hood, mainly because you can't see it's me under there. Uh, but uh, I'm telling you now, boy, you, you, you can't be getting away with this kind of behavior in public. I, I mean, I'm not talking about shitting in public. This is the South. I mean, we're kind of accustomed to that. But you can't go around being public. <laughs> black, what? Yo, man, you misunderstanding me, man. You misunderstanding me. I ain't black at all. I is white as they come, mate. I is white as they come. I is proper redneck, just like you, brud. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, boy. I'm, I'm trying to see some red in your net, but uh, all I'm seeing is, is potential for rope. I don't know. I, I, I think you're missing the point, man. I think you're missing the point. Maybe I was born black and all, but I isn't black inside. That's what I'm saying, man. I, I is white, man. So you can't, you can't take me like that. Yeah, I, 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 I hear where you're coming from, boy. But at the end of the day, you need to remember two things. The first thing is, I have a gun which I have pointed at you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I, say, I, I say, say, I say, I say. dark. I got dark. Say, Yo, Kevin, are you from Virginia? <laughs> <laughs> Ed, have you been pulled over by him before? I've got to go really disappointed that you cut me off there because I was just about to end with the line and the second thing is I'd never take shit from a black man. <laughs> <laughs> right. I feel happy and so now, uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Five thousand points to Kevin for being so believable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a darkness there. <laughs> no, that was great character. I'm not, I'm not sure it's darkness. Just the standard way like, most American people from the South are portrayed in British television. <laughs> in, in the same way you think you drink tea, uh, cucumber sandwiches at four o'clock on a Thursday afternoon with the <laughs> queen on a rotational basis, which is not true. It's just me. So, any other weird news? Uh, yeah, uh, the Grim we- Reaper was busy this week. Uh, mm. Yeah, November 16th, mm-hmm. uh, actress Anne Wedg- Wedgworth, she was in like Three's Company mm-hmm. and some other things back in the 70s. Uh, November 17th, Earl, oh gosh, I'm going to have to say this, Earl Hyman, he played the dad from the Cosby show, mm-hmm. uh, he passed away. November 18th, Malcolm Young, guitarist yeah. from AC. Yeah. Thanks, Malcolm. Yeah, yeah, good times. November 19th, cult leader Charles Manson. Yeah, uh, November 19th. Go young. Yeah. How did did you all see? Sorry to interrupt. Did you all see oh, with the no. Charles Manson thing? All the um, tweets that have gone out today. From <laughs> if, if you look it up, people have been tweeting how how sad it is, and you know, it's like a good die young, and all of this. 
because people have got a little bit confused between Charles Manson and Marilyn Manson. <laughs> <laughs> there are loads of people oh, that have put, that have oh. put up things saying, you know, the music of Charles Manson changed my childhood and all <laughs> Oh, wow. I guess his music would have. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Uh, November 19th, singer, actress, Della Reese. Um, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I hear her name, and I keep hearing, you shot my damn pinky toe. <laughs> <laughs> um, November 19th, David Cassidy of the Parker's family. Yeah. Hey, Sonar, thanks for subscribing, buddy. By the way, anybody Hi. with Twitch Prime, you Yay. can subscribe for free if you have uh, Amazon Prime. And uh, also, do you have more deaths? Uh, no more deaths. Mel Tillis. Funky, funky por- Punk 42. Foghorn Leghorn goes to the only redneck part of the UK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mel Tillis also died this week. Ah, yes, yes. Who yes. I know him best from Cannonball Run, but apparently he was also a country music singer. That's stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wrote for Kenny Rogers. I would have guessed. Uh, birthdays this week. Uh, go ahead, Travis. Something else? Oh, no, I have birthdays. One after, after you, sir. Okay, birthdays this week. Uh, November 19th, 1938, Ted Turner. Uh, November, November 22nd, 1921, actor, comedian Rodney Dangerfield. I, uh-huh. I mention him every year, I know, but yeah. yeah it was good stuff. Yeah. yeah. November 22nd, 1958. I mention her every year because, well, what can I say? She has the best tits in Hollywood. Actress Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> um, no, November Reasonable. 20. Everybody's seen them at least. November 28, 1984. Actress Scarlett Johansson. Mm. And personal birthday shout outs this week. The lovely Millie Andrews and my adopted daughter's husband, Josh Rodriguez. Happy birthday, everybody. Anybody Happy else? birthday, everyone. Hey. Anybody else got personal birthdays this week? No, nope, don't think so. Okay, I've got a few. Gemma Reed of White Party Radio. I don't know. Do you know her, Kevin? Yeah, I do know Gemma, yeah. There you go. Kevin missed that know. one. I got you covered. Sorry, Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fellow steampunk Brett Daly. Um, <clears throat> previous co-host, who is best known as Gander Snitch the Goblin, Robert Turk, has a birthday this week. Hey, hey, my favorite birthday. steampunk birthday. goblin. There we go. John Gradwall, also Gradwall, also known as Professor Bubblemaker, has his birthday. Travis Fessler of the Pickle Brother Circus, oh, and also fun. a previous co-host. Yeah. yeah. Happy uh, birthday, he was awesome. Happy birthday, Travis. Fellow fat boys, Thomas Stoll, known as Uncle Buck, David Garza, who was on the show once, Big Diesel, and then Nathan Deegan, who I forget your damn fat boy name. So there we go. <laughs> now, one of my favorite readers... Mary Hoyt, the mother of a friend I've known since my teens. She turned 75 this week. JP Mm -hmm. of Steampunk Life has a birthday, as well as previous co-host Ronnie Mexico. Hey! Hey! So, and the last person I have on my list... Yeah, something like that, yeah. Last person on my list is a gentleman who we play his music on a regular basis. He also wrote the theme song for Talk of the Tavern, as well as Sounds of Steam, Mark Ross, Aww. more of Escape the Clouds, and steampunkmusic.com. Nice. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Happy, happy yeah, birthday. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Happy birthday, man. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> okay, that's all I got for that. What else we got? Anything I'm, else? I'm just, well, I'm just wondering, like, do you reckon Robert's given Gandersnitch a different birthday so he can have two birthdays a year like the Queen? <laughs> He's kind of clever. He might. Um... If uh, when you're listening, Robert, that you can have the idea of a spree. It's my gift to you. Now, if we've got nothing else, I'll go into another song, and we'll come back with more games. Cool. Cool. Okay. cool. Here's Dennis Leary <clears throat> with Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Which I actually started playing earlier, but I was distracted. Uh-huh. By uh, okay, I'll be back in a sec. Okay. Okie dokie. Cow milking. <laughs> that's very good. Um, talking to Toei, that's, that's very funny. That goes well with her Twitch stream. You know she's what? great. Oh, she's she's a streamer? Oh, yeah. She is. And yes, Ian, I have heard quite a bit Following. of music. It's pretty good. Good folk music. Hello. Oh, good. There's the SO. Okay. 
I want to follow Talking Toei. She's fun. Um, she's also the one that co-wrote Awkward Compliments, the card game with me. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, very Hello. dry, quick wit. Um, just, yeah, fun. I like that there, woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listeners. Oh, only Twitch can hear us, but two more things that you can win an award for. Something you can get an award for. If not, yeah. Hmm. Do you have some? Do you have some backup ones? I, I can I can oh, throw yeah. some out, but I'm I'm also playing. So. <laughs> My pleasure, Win. Always happy. There's a pine, pine wood derby. Wood derby. <laughs> so we got drinking alcohol, cow milking, and. Uh, <laughs> Pinewood Derby is good. Okay. Setting fires. Goes well with other things. <laughs> no, we're sticking with prawn. Best performance in a prawn. <laughs> 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 I like prawn. Yeah. No, no, you got to do it. P R zero N. Prawn. <laughs> we got about two and a half minutes left in our song. Then we'll be coming back where All everybody right. can listen. Well, so what's the um, so once we come back, are we going to jump into the next yeah next game, or is there another segment? Nope, next game. Okay. Anybody Just need getting, to getting it in my head? Yeah, anybody need to head. refresh your drink or use the facilities? Now's the time. <clears throat> How chip toss? That's so gross. Goes well with competitive eating. <laughs> I like employee of the month. Cow chip tossing. Pig calling. Oh, there's your, there's your Greg link. Here we go. Okay. Oh, no. The link doesn't work for me. No. Nope. Hang on. Same here. I might have done that wrong. Is that, let's see what it does now. Now, I've probably done it wrong. I will fix it somehow. Surgery. <sighs> Big fuck off wrench. Yeah, anybody who isn't following Talking Tally... You're a doo-doo head. Go follow her. Oh, I like your little... Here. Your custom emote. That's very cute. I'll send some of mine. Jumping the Grand Canyon. Dangerous. Especially if it's porn. Mm. Prawn. Prawn. <laughs> Only prawn. prawn here. King prawn, Okay. Only prawn. Mm. Oh, mm. I don't know why today my back is so sore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm I can't mm. like. I can't. I'm, I'm already <laughs> following you there. <laughs> Just like I follow Matricula on uh, Patreon. Yay. Yeah, I like um, I like that Patreon uh, has a thing too. It's like um, if you're if you're a, a creator and you release stuff that's not all behind a paywall, people can still follow you, yeah. which is a good way to like increase getting word out. So and I will go follow. Back. Back. Yeah, go follow Greg, and then we can share each other's content. Follow. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hashtag content. Hashtag <laughs> hustle. Hashtag can't stop, won't stop. Okay, oh, and we're yeah. back in case you guys didn't follow along with that. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need to learn how to speak millennial. Okay. Oh, belching contest. That's interesting. And one above it from Chuck. World record longest speech at an award ceremony. Stevie Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Belching. Ugh. All right. Wow. I don't. Fearless leaders. Everybody's got their card. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me roll a dice to see who I'm going to give this to. Who's number four? I feel like I probably or no was I n I was nine or I four. Was two. I think you were two. four, Matricula. Okay, I'm four. <laughs> we had numbers. I'm four now. Okay, you're four. So. Okay, your award. It's for drinking alcohol and being mediocre. 
Oh, get so that start. in your head. Okay. Are you listing off everybody's first, okay. or should I go I'm ahead and? Every- okay, because I, I really want to accept this reward because it's it's hashtag real life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ed, you want to give somebody one? <laughs> Always. <laughs> Travis. Yeah. War record longest speech at an award ceremony. Okay. I'm taking notes. Who's next? All right. I'm writing nothing down. <laughs> who was three? Mind like a steel trap. Rusted and old. All right. <laughs> I'll give this one to to Greg. You get an award for winning a belching contest while jumping in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Funky punk. Of course I am. <laughs> That's some good hashtag comedy right there. Kevin. Ed. Best porn performance while setting fires. While setting uh, fires. Amazing. <laughs> also, hashtag real life. <laughs> Who starts? Matricula, go. I just want to, I just want to get up here and say thank you for recognizing that I'm, I'm okay. You know, See, I um, so I had a I had a few shots before I got up because I um, um, well. Can't stop, won't stop drinking, uh, but that's 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 beside the point. Um, uh, listen, Liz, I'm 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 really excited to to accept this award for most okayest mediocre white person. I am just really excited to be here. I listen. One of my true inspirations has been um, handsome but relatively mediocre actor um, Ballywick Cummerbutton, and. <laughs> Just every time I think about I think about him, uh, especially as he plays uh, Sherlock, uh, sipping uh, sipping various nicotine patches um, because he just gets right in there. I, I just want to say, like, for, first of all, I couldn't do this without my cat because the reason I drink so much and sit around and think about all the things I've done with my life that are mistakes is because my cat like fucking hates me. My cat loves my husband. My cat follows my husband around my husband, who I also want to thank, I guess, um, follows me around the like follows my husband around the house. And I'm the one home all the time. I feed the cat. I do the cat's litter. I'm very upset about this, actually, like in real life, um, which is here, which is where I am. And I listen, I couldn't be here without the genes that I received from my mother and father. But I just I just want to listen. I want to thank you for recognizing that I could have done a lot more with my life if I didn't follow the cat around the house telling her how small she is because she's very small. She's much in some ways. She's she's below average, which I am not. I am average. I am OK and I am glad to be here and I will probably go not not do a thing. But maybe, I don't know. I need a drink. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm actually mad about the cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. Travis, go. Hola, darlings. I just want to thank you. I'm here to accept the award for... The world record at the longest acceptance speech at an award ceremony, darlings. And I just <laughs> want to let you know that I am flattered that you feel I am the most attractive actor or actress, depending what you like about me. And I also want to thank, I especially want to thank Greg for helping me do what I am about to do tonight. And that other special night with Kevin, because he was my darling. And I am so grateful to my wife matricula who i am leaving because i have decided i am no longer going to take care of that damn cat but darling i want to tell you life is an enchilada and it's filled with my meat and being the most beautiful actor and actress have you ever seen i want to let you know that i am now in germany apparently so, <laughs> yeah, when I have enchiladas, I like to travel and go to different places. And, you know, there was one time I was at a bullfight and I thought, oh, my God, is he got a heart on? 
that is incredible. And the bull was well hung too. It was very exciting. And there was this one time when I was a child, and I don't know where this accent came from, but it is here now, so I would use it. It's I, I have traveled the world, and tacos are my favorite thing to not eat because... I like the sausage and the chorizo. The chorizo, it is passionate. It is wonderful. Like so many things out there that I enjoy. Like a burrito. You ever notice they look like they're filled with poop? If you get the beef and it's ground beef. Rather Do we let him go on? We can. I can go on for a while. <laughs> I work at a Mexican restaurant. I don't know if he got them all or not, but damn. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Who's oh my that? God. Gracias. Greg, go. Greg's next. Well, um, I'm so grateful to be here. It is wonderful to give my acceptance speech for winning the belching competition while jumping in the Grand Canyon. Um, I must be honest, this seems like a very odd thing to do while accepting the belching competition trophy. Uh, but we are going to strap me in. I am going to be jumping into the Grand Canyon as I deliver my acceptance speech, apparently. So uh, we're just uh, going to be attaching the harness. Um, I do apologize. They're just doing a strap between my legs at the moment um and uh, I, i'd just like to offer up uh, some thanks to some wonderful people in the audience i'd like to thank uh, i'd like to thank my two ex-wives um I'd love to thank both uh, Hillary Clinton and Michelle Obama. Um, I know you've gone on to marry other men who were less successful than I was, but uh, I, I quite understand why you did that. Uh, and, of course, it's always important for me to mention my uh, my, my, my lover of the moment. Um, I love you so much, Donald. I'm so glad you became president in the end as well. Um, it's an absolute pleasure um, to have you here. Um, in fact, i I, I just got to say... Um, I just got to say, I was just so touched by the support that the whole world is showing you. Um, in particular, um, Putin, he's been so kind to you. Um, I just want to say thank you, um, thank you to, to, to everybody, and um, and ju ju just for those um, people who are listening to this speech. Uh, I do apologise for the twitch that I feel I ought to uh, I ought to point out for those listening by radio. Um, I, I, I would like to say though, just before I before I jump off of the uh, jump off into the Grand Canyon, that it is, it is time for me to announce that I will be uh, retiring from from the film industry as of this moment. Um, I, I just wanted to uh, just thank a couple of the, the the real heroes that have that have guided my life. Um, people who have really been an inspiration to me in filming um harvey white no no not him um i just want to thank kevin Spade. no no not him um um i just want to thank any celebrities you haven't been caught doing <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Brett says, oh, yeah. I, I did a moo in the middle of that. And Brett's like, okay, that moo freaked me out. It sounded like it came out of my cat who is walking by. <laughs> oh. and by the way, Brett will be on the show next month as his alter ego. Oh, yeah. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kevin, you stud, man. Take her away. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, it, it, it is for me. It is for me the award. Oh, this is uh, this is fantastic. You will all applaud now. Yes, as I make my way from uh, from my seat here to the podium. Excuse me, coming through. Move your ass, you peasant. Uh, yes, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate this. I appreciate this. Thank you so much. Ah, Monty's here. wonderful. Uh, uh, good evening, uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen, and. Uh, uh, not so gentlemen, if you are like me, if you know what I mean, ladies, huh? <clears throat> so, yes, uh, I would like uh, very much, uh, with very much grace, to uh, accept this award uh, for the greatest pornographic performance whilst starting a fire. Uh, it is a hard and uh, strenuous task. Uh, you must be careful that uh, both the uh, inflammatory device and the lady are uh, not extinguished in their passion. Uh, 
tonight, uh, I will be thanking no one. Uh, the fame is all mine, the effort was all mine, the rest of you are just along for the ride. Uh, you are a bunch of dead weights, you are unnecessary, my penis does all the work, you are simply window dressing on the film. Uh, I would, however, uh, like to name three people who I feel have been uh, an inspiration to me as the people who I have uh, really drawn uh, the rules by which I live my life and have created my craft. Uh, the first is uh, the famous Hollywood actor Tom Cruise, uh, upon who I have uh, based my entire uh, ability to be a completely batshit crazy nut job uh, that nobody really understands. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the current American president, Donald Trump. Uh, I'm very grateful to him because uh, mm. I've always been blessed by Mother Nature, but it was him who truly taught me how to be an enormous cock in public. Uh, and uh, finally, I would like to base my entire acting technique, my method, my, my entire raison d'etre of my acting career upon uh, my hero, uh, the master of the screen, uh, the cartoon skunk, Pepe Le Pew, uh, who <laughs> has been a, a, a hero for many generations of my family. Uh, uh, and... Uh, the audience, the audience, I want to tell you, I want to tell you I love you. I love every single one of you. I love you with the passion of a thousand suns. I, fi I love you with a fiery, but, <laughs> but I am being told I must leave the stage. Uh, apparently, there are some members of the law enforcement agency who wish to speak to me about some uh, some test results. So, uh, yes, uh, audience, I love you. All <laughs> I will believe you now. Lord, me. Oh, God, me as I believe. I will leave you will Lord. Thank you very much. Good night. Uh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> So Did someone laughed so hard they wet themselves at the end of that? Because I'm not sure what else that sound. <laughs> it's a beautiful babbling brook. <laughs> I'll need to check the song break. <laughs> the pure sound of a crystal mountain stream. Double points awarded. Ten to, ten to Travis and ten to Kevin because he hates French so much. So. <laughs> <laughs> I like Travis's Swiss German Frenchy situation. <laughs> it was he doesn't Spanish. even know what it was. It was Spanish. Duh. <clears throat> You're. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it started that way. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. You really don't know. <laughs> just, just string six consonants together and add Istan on the end, and no one will question it. Oh, Istan. Yeah. That's... Mm. Is everybody okay out there? You know, Jean are you said, still breathing? Do you Jean need said, a break? I can't laughing take so it. Hard? I'm laughing so hard it hurts. <laughs> I know it's great. We'll give you a my second. back hurts. <laughs> my back still hurts. Okay. <laughs> I'm having a hard day. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh. This one was done on the, the other show, and I, I loved it. I, I didn't hear it when it was performed originally. I went back and listened to it this morning, and I loved it. And, uh, Andrea, thank you for putting this in here. So, so, Ed, this was the first time that you listened to the old show, huh? Yes, yes. So, yeah, yes. It, you see why I, I, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> It, I, I was so happy when Andrew told me you're going to listen to it. I'm like, oh, he's never heard it, has he? Mm, never heard it before. Um, oh. We have it written up as 92nd Alphabet, but screw oh. that shit. Oh, number We're two. We're going okay, to do it. the entire fucking Alphabet A to Z. Okay. Okay? If and you have to write right. them down ahead of time, go ahead. The scene is... Donald Trump and little Kim from Korea meeting for the first time. And we're going to start it off with Kevin. The rule is you go in yeah, the yeah. chronological order. Everybody know yeah. what the rule is or do I need to explain it? No, I need, uh, I need to know the rules. Okay. Yeah. Explain A to yeah. C. You must start out your sentence with the letter, the first letter of the alphabet A. The second person speaks starts off their sentence with B. And so on, and so on. Okay, and so just the first okay. word of your sentence. Gotcha. Yeah. Kevin will start off first playing the role as Donald Trump. <laughs> now, if they screw up, are 
matricular. We go I, to the next. We go to the next person. I'll just call a name, cool. and you have to start off your next sentence with the with the next letter. Perfect, Travis. You're going to be Little Kim. Oh, I'm starting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> little Kim, not Lil Kim, not the now, rapper. If Travis messes up, I'll call the next person, and you will have to start off your sentence hey, with the letter B. Real, okay? real quick, you do mean Kim Il Jun, right? Yeah, not Little Kim, Kim yeah. the, the hip hop no, artist. No. Making sure because <laughs> <laughs> I the one's entertainment. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Clarify, he's not referring to Little Kim. He's referring to Riddle Kim. <laughs> oh, and we'll probably get lost somewhere along the way of who is Trump and who is Little Kim, but it's not going to really matter, okay? <laughs> I'm going okay. first, yeah. Kevin, you're Donald Trump. Letter A, go. America, fuck yeah! <laughs> Bitch, you don't know what I go through. Can't you see that it really doesn't matter? I'm America. Donald Dick, that's what I call you. Uh, everybody says that, but frankly, I pay no attention. I've got a shit ton of nuclear weapons. Fuck, you talk a lot. <laughs> Gook. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> I'm actually I mean, not okay with some of this. <laughs> Sorry. I, I need to tweet and just call you that. One, one more time. I need to tweet that I just called you that. Jackass. <laughs> Clan members give me an easier time than you do. Look, I call your mother oh. and spend the night with her. Maybe you do, but you but you pay her in American dollars. Now I'm gonna call your father. Oh, going for the cheap shot. At least I know who mine is. Peter. That's what I call your father. <laughs> Quit ragging on my father or I'm gonna send a carrier fleet. Really? <laughs> you think that bother me? Sure as hell it should bother you. Talk, talk, talk. That's all you do. I blow you up. <laughs> Unveil your nuclear weapons, then. Very nice. So, you want to hook up? <laughs> weapons of mass destruction at dawn? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Greg, you're little Kim. Start with X. <laughs> X-ray all of my baggage. I have no weapons with me. Zebra skin is banned in this country, I'm afraid. Ah! I'm <laughs> Matricula, you're Donald Trump starting with Y. <laughs> okay, I, I just want to say, I think we should lay off the racial caricatures <laughs> in this next... Um, all right, so... Um, Huge, huge. Everything will be huge. <laughs> Zero chance that I can carry this on without doing these racial stereotypes. <laughs> I don't mean to be a buzzkill. I just, I just can't. I can't. I can't. That's fine. I just needed to say it. I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you went through all of it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> ABC. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm the way I was making fun of a world leader, not a race. I. Uh, <laughs> Both world leaders, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we were characterizing the American too. Anyhow, I, I, okay, I had to on. give Kevin Donald Trump because I know how much he hates him. <laughs> okay. On that note, yeah, I think, I think hates a strong word. Dislikes him. Yeah. Okay. You want to pick the next one, Ed? Uh, let's see who we got next on the list here. Uh, uh. Oh? All right, how about 
about this? Yeah, you changed something. <laughs> what did I change? You go. What did I change? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> okay, guys. Get your hat. Oh. Have you... Have your hats ready. You don't have to show us your hat. Just have your hat ready. You're going to be right. showing the worst example of a dating video. <sighs> if she ran away, that's the worst example. Okay. <laughs> so you want to switching up hats and... Uh... Well, to... okay. All right, contestants. Give your world's worst example of a dating video. And you have hats. So switch them out because this is Twitch and everyone can see you. Okay, so we just jump in whenever we're ready, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. Sure. I'll just start with this. Oh, Lord. Arr, I'd be shivering your timbers if you know what I mean. You want to walk my plank? <laughs> That's a short walk. Oh. <laughs> it, it, it's that size because it's really cold in England, honest. <laughs> Duh, it's colder in Russia. You cannot be blaming me for this. I missed the beginning for the rules. I'm sorry. Uh, we are just <laughs> okay, I need to get my hat. We're throwing on different hats and giving examples of the worst. What? Dating videos. <sighs> Hey, so I'm like uh, like a really dedicated animal warrior, and uh, I like to smoke huge quantities of marijuana and uh, look after venomous snakes. They mix really well. You're not supposed to do your own dating video, Kevin. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> it's hard with the headset, ain't it? It's <laughs> ahead, Greg. Yeah, I, I wear this to cover up the plastic surgery on my ears because I find otherwise people get a bit freaked out by my uh, my obsession with Star Trek and my Vulcan change. Live long and prosper. Oh. I, I have done both. <laughs> I think we need to go get zazzled with my fancy flapper hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to know how you feel about Wiener Schnitzel and Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, my goodness! I'm not overly keen on the Nazis. <laughs> Magically delicious. That's what I am. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm really good looking. I just wear this over my face because uh, I, I just attract people too much. <laughs> Oh, oi, my name is Greg Chapman, and I'm from Australia, I mean England. Hi, uh, I'm a panda, but the zoo are doing a really <laughs> shit job of finding me a fit-looking bird, so if you're down to fuck, bell me. Um, Funky Punk says, play the dating game. The guys playing the suitors. <laughs> I don't know that game. Oh, I, 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 are you, Greg? Did you just immediately think blind date? Yeah, I think that's what the dating game is. Yeah, blind date. <laughs> yeah. Matricula, do you want to ask us dating questions as bachelor number one, two, and three? And we'll each <clears throat> answer. Uh, I, I can do that. I can do that. And then I, I think I, I... Huh? Did, when they did this one originally, that like just... They, you're supposed to give each of us a weird quirk that Matricula doesn't know about, so maybe we could do this one after a song in a bit. And then we, we have to try and get across to her what our weird quirk is without actually saying it in our answers. This is very Would complicated. You know? I don't yeah. know the rules. I oh, just okay. got confused. Okay. <laughs> trust me. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Um, hmm. Let's go into a song, and we'll be back in a couple minutes. All right. What are we listening to? Uh, coming up is uh, Monty Python's Always Look on the Bright Side of Life. Hey. We'll be back. 
And it looks like Matricula needs to run at this point in time. Yeah, I might have to slip out. <laughs> okay. You have a good night. So, Thank well, you for you. joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll right. keep I'll keep watching on the uh, in the channel, but uh, I'm gonna flip off the cameras. So okay. <laughs> Later. Are we in a song? We are in a song. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> I can't hear the song. Always look on the bright side. Gray's going to drop out in a minute. Good night, Gray. Thanks for joining us. Good night, Gray. Right, lots of words. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Hold on a second. Just catching up on one or two things. Let's see here. Uh, sorry, I'm answering a few things that people are sending over. Okay. So there we go. And we got about two minutes. Anybody need to get up and take a quick break and get anything? No, I'm good for a minute. Let's see then. Okay. I have a cat on me, but I can't get up. Oh, Brett says that uh, Victor and the Bully do a great version of this song at the end of their concerts. I have not heard them do that. Have you not heard them? They do, yeah. It? Bright side of life. Oh. Nice. It's a. Uh... Yeah, they've done that since uh, the very first time I saw them a um, year and a half ago. They <laughs> use it to round out, get everyone singing along. Yeah. It's a. Uh... Okay. Hold on just a second. Do, do, do. Do, do, mark do, that do, one do. off. One minute to go. And then we can come back. Uh, are you guys able to adjust accordingly and do a few things with three people? Uh, I, yeah, I could. I have to change. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Um, so let's see here. Um. Yeah, it's easy enough to change things. Things like the, the alpha thing can easily be done with three people instead of four, and I know there's a few things along those lines. So if you have that available, there you go. And we've got 20 seconds, and we're coming back. <laughs> so, okay, and we're coming back. Okay, welcome back to Talk of the Tavern. Whose line is it anyway? And, uh, mm -hmm. okay, guys, take it away. Next, Andrea. Yes. Oh, okay, <laughs> so I guess it's me. All righty. Um, <laughs> hmm. Oh, my God. I need a number. Somebody give me a number. Between Five. 1 and 16. Five. Five. All right. Awesome. This one is called Emotion Option. During the scene, contestants switch into emotions suggested by the audience. Mm. Okay, audience, this is when we're going to need you to throw out, like, emotions so they can change them during the whole thing. Um, let's see. Ed has here. For this one, let's have Travis be an AT&T sales guy, and he's trying to talk Kevin into buying a phone based on features. Based on fe features, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm assuming that's road rage. Because I know you got a phone, and I know you just switched to AT and T. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and okay. the emotion is road rage. Road rage. Whose emotion? Mine or his? Yes. <laughs> oh, there's a second emotion. Okay. 
Okay. There's a third one. Okay, I'm still just seeing one. Um, Road rage, extreme happiness, and despair. Okay, I don't have extreme happiness and despair. You might I'm be sorry. lacking. Come on, catch up, Twitch. Catch up. <laughs> well, there's polar opposites. Usually you don't have both. There it is. one or the other. <laughs> Horny is not oh. an emotion. It's a state of mind. Yes, it's... Okay. Travis, you have road rage? Mm -hmm. And, oh, horror? No, I like the horny. All right, Kevin, you're horny. <laughs> Travis, you have road rage. Go. <laughs> I have road rage. <clears throat> <laughs> hey, I'm from AT&T, and uh, I want to – I think you should buy this phone because uh, you've got a huge fucking nose, and this phone is perfect for you. Uh, okay, so the, the phone's perfect for me. Um, what's the what's the internet connectivity like? Like, uh, you know, like how easy is it for me to pick up Pornhub? No, you know what? I was talking and you just cut me off. I, I <laughs> If you just stop and listen to me, I can tell you that this phone Extreme is perfect. Extreme happiness. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I just like to hear your voice. What, say it again. I, I, I like your um, I like your giggle. Can I uh, can I get your number? <laughs> oh, oh god this phone is going to be perfect for you because it just brings the light to everything and you know what if you touch it just right it just caught it mm. <laughs> what Kevin <laughs> horror oh my god it, sorry oh just the, the way you said uh, the way you said touch it just right god i mean that's that's oh i'm i'm actually quite quite nauseous now um will the phone tell me where i can go and find a safe space because i need a safe zone i need a safe zone i'm horrible and nauseous and triggered oh it can tell you where to go you you press like martin from the hitchhiker's guide <sighs> if you're not smart enough to figure out where to go yes it has gps <sighs> and it has a big brain like me and it will deal with stupid people like everyone else. Ah, oh my god, it's a fucking robot! Run! Skynet's come! Get out of here! Yeah, I'm used to okay. that reaction. <laughs> what? I don't think you sold anything. No. <laughs> good night, Sonar. Have a good night. Oh, good night, he Sonar. He ran him away. He's going to have fun. <clears throat> I, I don't know how that one went. That was just kind of funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's not even 10 o'clock. I know. Uh, oh. So what, what, what game do we have next? Okay, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this one is, if you know what I mean. Everything is going to be euphemism, euphemisms or... You're going to make up your own euphemism. Mm -hmm. That word. I can't say the word. Euphemism. Yes. Okay, we need we need a subject for them to talk about, if you know what I mean. Okay, <laughs> listeners. Throw a topic over here into the Twitch chat. Oh, yeah, so, so this is kinda of, this is kinda of like the Monty Python does your wife like photography scene. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. Okay. Okay, y'all got it? Now we this, need should be, this should be real difficult for us to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Car repair. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one's for Greg and Kevin. <laughs> oh, do you see all the suggestions coming up? You could talk about car repair, nuclear weapons, and political correct. Do you want to go with all three, or you want to start with one? <laughs> like the same conversation. That could be awkward. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. Which one should they start with, uh, Ed? Are you muted, Ed? I think he is. He doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Nuclear weapons, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and go. Well, uh, so tell me, are you going to uh, are you going to claim you've got a bigger payload than me, there, Greg? <laughs> but 
let's be honest, it's not the power, it's the size. Mine might, might, might are longer. No, uh, this is true, but I mean, uh, I mean, it's all right when you're dealing with a local crowd, but uh, I've been intercontinental, if if you know what I mean. Oh, I, I know what you're saying, but it's no good being able to fly all the way if when you actually get there, you don't get the bang, if you know what I mean. Yeah, this is true, but I mean, I, I'm, I'm carrying a lot of fuel, so I'm in for a long journey before I deliver my payload, if you know what I mean. Uh, you see, that, that's, that's all very well when you've got the time and the effort, but, you know, I, I, I have heard that sometimes yours do go off a little bit early. Uh, it, 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 it's not so much an early thing. That's, that's just false information that we put out, uh, it, just propaganda, uh, although we have had one or two guidance issues uh, which have ended some, some relationships. <laughs> oh, keep going. <laughs> 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 I lo- okay, okay. I, I I love it, jamming. Uh, slip it into my silo, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know why that was the one that made me break. I. Can't- <laughs> Why did I not work in something about my wife preferring a multiple forehead delivery system? (laughs) (laughs) Very good, guys. Very good, guys. (laughs) I don't know if that's your count, Andrea. Andrea just redeemed to Ed Rant, but I think that's more for the listeners than us. But let the listeners know that in the uh, Talk of the Tavern store, you can go redeem such things. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'll penetrate your defenses if you know what I mean. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come and get it, boy. Oh, my goodness. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. This is for all three of you. <laughs> we'll start with, I'll just go around the circle here Travis, Kevin, then Greg. In that order, you each have to sing a verse of a rap song. The topic is. Burping a baby and changing a diaper. Oh, wow. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Okay. (laughs) I'm a white guy and they wanted me to rap, but I really don't want to do this with my baby for a nap. But I gotta pick him up because he just ate, and what it did is not so great. He makes it gotta take up some gas and after that it's going to come out his ass that's right i'm going to pick up my baby put him on my shoulder and then i'm going to burp him like it nothing older <laughs> Next. passing on to passing, um. passing on great god we got to rehearse this rap thing with you bro kevin <laughs> <laughs> well. Listen up now and let me chatter. I'm going to talk about the nappy changing matter. You got to avoid that fecal splatter if you know where I'm coming from. Yeah? Keep him at an arm's distance. Yes. Uh, no, I've lost it. Sorry. <laughs> Damn. That was all right there for a minute, but that's harder than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Greg, take it away. Finish this thing, bro. (laughs) You ask me why I turn to drink. I can't help it. It's my baby stink. I can't help it. It's just the smell. Every time I open up that nappy, it feels like hell. I got to carry on and keep it going. But that booty, it just keeps on flowing, keeps spilling (laughs) out all over the floor. And every time I think it stops, there's a little bit more. And then if I'm not careful, it starts to piss and it's 
all over everywhere. It never manages to miss my face with the wetness, and it's horrible and icky. And now the nappy's gone, and it's all gone sticky. That's it, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. Oh, my God. Great, that was that was like our Good version of eight. That, one. that was like our version of eight mile. <laughs> oh, that is like so horrible. Great. One hundred points to Travis on that one. That was awesome. Wow. That, that's fabulous, guys. Horrible. Mm. Oh. oh. Uh, what else you got? Uh, all right. Are we going to carry this into the third hour? If you guys want to, otherwise we can go to random chit chat. We can also, do a bit of both. Why not? It depends what you guys have available. That's a lot of what points, Jamie. You know <laughs> <I mean. laughs> that is a lot of points. Playing that. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, do we have a song available right now, Travis? Well, we do if you want me to go into it. we got five minutes before the third hour. but Let's go into the song, and before we go into the song, listeners, I need you to come up with troubles. Two troubles. We just need two. There's enough of you out there. We need two troubles that a person may have in life. Okay, so coming up next, we got a little Ceiling Demons with Karma Capture. Here you go. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Why did you guys talk about babies shitting instead of burping? We're supposed to be burping them. Wrong end. <laughs> it was both. It was, it was both. both. It doesn't matter. It was as, great. As anyone who's ever held there a young baby. There was supposed to be a transition in the it. middle. <laughs> <laughs> you mean a bridge? We don't know what that is. I will be right back, guys. Okay. Yeah, ditto here. Okay. There we go. There's a couple of things for you guys to choose from. <laughs> We're going to see about that jamming, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria liked her own post. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do being a virgin and having extreme libido? Because I'm married, so it's kind of like the same thing. Huh? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but with people watching in public, I'm certainly not going to discuss why I'm joking. We'll save that for after the third hour. Mm. That's fourth hour. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Victoria said here. You're feeling the need to like fill in musically for the people I, watching on Twitch. I am. <clears throat> Strangers in the night. <laughs> <laughs> Problems. Victoria on Facebook, in case you're not checking there, constipation run out of gas. Although you just kind of ca- and look, Zazzle has filled in for Andrea. <laughs> hey, Sazo. Um, do we have constipation and run on the gas, or does she have constipation and run on the gas? <laughs> is that a suggestion, or is she just complaining? I don't know. <laughs> Wind says the cat is photobombing. <clears throat> the cat's actually the technical mastermind behind the show. It's the most intelligent member of the team. <clears throat> yeah. couple of good suggestions there yeah everybody's like throwing up double things aren't they oh two <laughs> problems each okay why well, find so <laughs> <about good. laughs> okay uh... Uh, y'all got to see the cat butt mm-hmm Quite a bit of it. We'll be back on in two Holy minutes. Shoot. Hey, I have that problem with my socks always falling down. Oh, I thought you were going to say the clown shoes. 
<laughs> no, but that would be great. I don't go to weddings. By the way, Jen's a nine and a half. Mm -hmm. I thought that was just a oh. rumor, Travis. <laughs> okay, so we wear almost the same size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the clown shoe thing is great. That. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. That's great suggestions, people. That's why I love our audience. Crafty Geek has joined us, by the way. Welcome. I know who you are. I just don't remember. Stupid. By the way, I, I was working on number three, Andrea. Uh huh. Uh, so, yeah, gotcha. Uh, so, I figured. do you have anything in particular stands out for you, or uh, if so, you can just take it away. I don't know. Running out of soup. I hate it when that happens. Did you say running out of soup? Where did you see that? Crash oh, geek. Up the top of the list. Yeah. Oh, I missed that one. You know, I saw the Crafty Geek was here, but I saw I Feel Your Pain, brother. Who the hell is Crafty Geek? I know you. Oh, wait, let me check the song. Yeah, we got uh, 10, <clears throat> 20, 15 seconds, some, a few seconds left. Some seconds, yeah. If you know what I mean. <sighs> Time's just a concept. Okay, and we're back. Uh, we're back with the third hour, which we're going to continue the Whose Line Is It Anyway thing until they tell us they're done. It's you! Oh, Crafty Geek, it's you. Shut the fuck up. Who the hell? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> more, more suggestions. Uh, it's Crafty Geek, of course. Um, <laughs> Andrea, she's either stoned or giving that slit eye look of suspicion. I'm not sure which. Now, now she's, know, I'm her, her, her face was like if you took both the tragedy and the happy match. The fuck is that? It. Oh, Andrew's like I'm gonna the knock. The cat you was. <laughs> oh, cat! They like to lay on the table behind the computer, but it's a small table, so they're knocking everything over. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Destructive pussy rampage. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Do. Uh, everything fell. <sighs> okay. Yes. Oh, okay. I like the socks always falling down. I have that problem. It's she does. very sad. Okay, yeah. who are we going to assign it to? See, I'm not sure if Talking Towie was saying Cat is photobombing is a problem, or she was just commenting on Zazzle appearing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All the cats are in here right now. Um... Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Chuck is very yeah. helpful, isn't he? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's hot in here. Okay, Greg, you went to a Star Trek convention dressed as Star Wars. Okay. Kevin, your socks are always falling down. All right. We gotta find one for Travis. He's the bartender. Oh, he's the bartender. Never mind. That's his problem. Okay, what? What's the scenario? Okay. You're a bartender. Greg went to a Star Trek convention dressed as Star Wars. Kevin's socks is always falling down. So, Kevin, I'm, you go for... I'm serving yes. him drinks, then. And we're in a bar. Yes. Like, tell me about their problems, huh? Am I giving advice? They, they don't tell you about their problems. They have to sing to you about their problems. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Welcome, Tall Skinny. Now, what? Andrea, does he have to sing back or? You could sing or you could rap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't, be, I won't be rapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought we showed that earlier. In, in, all, in all fairness to my vocal talents, I also won't be singing. Yes. <laughs> I think that's 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 oh. quite a generous a description. But... Okay, so it's flirty bartender. So yeah, you have to be a flirty bartender. I can do that. Mm. Okay, okay. Are we ready? And can they I have start? to tell can, you about their problem. Can I start? Yes. Ooh. Yes. If you want my body and you think I'm sexy, come. On. Well, hello, tall, thin stranger. Can I pour you something uh. sweet to drink? 
I would very much like that, please. Francis, are you? I am in need of a large amount of whiskey. <laughs> uh, so tell me what brought you into the bar tonight. I am having a very bad day. I have just been thrown out of a monastery where I have been a loyal brother for many years. You did what with Sadly, your brother? I have looked after my brothers for 20 years. I like a guy that'll do that. Sadly, I've had a recent affliction because we are forced to make our own clothes because we have taken a vow not to buy any commercially made products and therefore I made myself a pair of socks which were very loose. <laughs> loose, you say? Go on. Indeed, far looser than the kind of looseness I am sensing from you, although I am beginning to become slightly concerned that you might be one of these homosexuals I have heard of. Hold that but yes, I'm true. We've got another customer here. Well, hello, you bearded criminal. What's going on with you? And what can I get for you tonight? I was told that it was a Star Trek convention. But I'm afraid that it was the Star Wars. The bar. <laughs> <laughs> what, what can I get you to drink? Romulan and Ale, maybe? <laughs> Uh, no, I'd better not have Romulan. I think I'll have a Wookiee beer instead. Pair of the dog that bit you, then. Ooh. <laughs> I am sorry to hear about your bad day, my brother friend. I actually thought because of your dress and your robe, you were another brother. No, he's white. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm suddenly confused which convention I was dressed for. <laughs> Perhaps in a robe I could have got away with Star Wars. <laughs> so, why are you dressed like the green slave girl? <laughs> <laughs> yes, come on. Why are you dressed like the green slave girl? <laughs> With socks on. <laughs> Please do not mention the socks. They are making me very sad. For they are the reason for my ejection from the monastery. You got a what in the Sadly, monastery? I was given an ejection, which oh. is very close to what I was given for the rest of the 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, I was tripping a great deal because of my socks, and yeah. so I tripped and fell into the deacon's wife. Speaking of tripping, can I offer you a highball, <laughs> if you know what I mean? <laughs> I am concerned and we need to visually inspect these balls before I will place them in my mouth. <laughs> so what about you? Can I offer you maybe a Death Star? Uh, yes, a Death Star would be very, very nice now. It but loads. I'm very intrigued by your socks. They keep slipping down. I have my Captain Picard top and it keeps on riding up. <laughs> Between us, we are indeed showing a lot of flesh, which I indeed, as a former brother, find sinful. But I can't help noticing that the bartender seems to be finding quite enjoyable. <laughs> Bear midriff. I, Always a great way to make I, new friends. I believe from the looks he is shooting in your direction, he plans to shoot his photon torpedo into your trench. <laughs> Hells yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, how I <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, do we well, all want to maybe I, I form even... a prayer circle? <laughs> <laughs> Why would he form a prayer circle, jerk? <laughs> well done. No. We gotta stop on that. Cause... 5,000 points to each of you. <laughs> Can you tell I've never been a bartender? Uh, yes, you forgot to upsell me snacks. <laughs> we don't do that here. If you're gonna you put don't. something in your mouth, it's gonna be liquid. How where am I supposed to get my nuts from? We don't leave food out on the bar anymore. They really don't, do they? No pretzels. Sometimes in like the redneck places there'll be like pickled eggs or pickled sausage. 
Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, pickles or what? nuts and crisps. Anything with high vinegar or high salt because it dehydrates you, makes you thirsty. You buy more beer. Thank for thank you to uh, Lord Sarcast. <laughs> for uh, following us on Twitch. Mm. And by the way, Chuck just randomly throws oh, yeah. shit out. We didn't ask for anything. He's like, Willy Wonka meets Edward Scissorhand meets Captain Jack Sparrow. And go. <laughs> Thank you. You figure out who you are. Chuck yes, apparently so is going to be the host next week. <laughs> it's, like he, it's like he pulled the plug out of his creativity dike and now he can't force it back in again. <laughs> Hold on while I put my finger in his dike. <laughs> Thoughts, yeah. What's next, oh, guys? my goodness. Oh, talking Taui. He can join a Jedi monastery if he needs a new religion. That's true. <laughs> Outstanding. Uh, as long as they have no objection to me playing with my lightsaber in private. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> I, I still don't. I, I have no clue if Greg was Star Wars or Star Trek. I know he was supposed to be one and he was the other. And I, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I like don't think any of us knew how can I just add at this point, switching from the music of Star Trek to the music of Star Wars and your response is must. <laughs> can I, I, can I just that. say, that is the greatest achievement in my singing career that you could actually <laughs> tell that was what was going on. Flip it. Hold on, drop the mic. <laughs> is that and the rapping tonight was great. I don't know who Mike is, but he's got to be getting pissed off by now. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> well, let's see. I think we have a few more games left, but I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? We got ten minutes. Hey, audience! Song. Yeah, hey, audience. What do you think, audience? Did we do another game? Are they entertaining you? To uh... voice your opinion. God, wow. if you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, the deathly silence following "Are they entertaining you?" is just. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for so Oh, do it. Okay, do there's it. a right. there's we a love, lag. That's we why love we car wait. accidents. <laughs> train wrecks. That's right. One, one person says we should do it, and frankly, we've always needed the least encouragement to do right. silly stuff. Yeah. That's right. What well, else you got? Here coming? we go. I. I think this should be the final game. <laughs> now we play a game. It, it's an audition piece. Contestants present the world's worst auditions for a role. To be on top of the tavern. Oh. Okay, now this is um, one of those things where we just keep on taking turns, stepping up and saying shit, right? World's worst. Now, are you going to change <laughs> what world's worst thing we're going about as we go? We can have the we can have the listeners pick something. There we go. What we'll do is we'll keep world shouting worst, things what? out for the world worst audition for Talk of the Tavern until the listeners throw out another thing we could do as the world's worst. Then we'll switch over to you guys. Tell us to shut the hell up. <laughs> okay. So we'll start. With, did you just ding the bell? <laughs> what? Okay. So world's worst audition for and Talk of the Tavern. Audition. So I have an idea about a show that I could run and be host of. My name is Travis. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. Do you know what? I've oh, wow. always hated men with mustaches. <laughs> World's worst veterinarian. <laughs> so does well, you... I, I can save his life, but frankly, it's six hundred quid and a bullet's twelve. So the choice is yours. So is your dog big enough for me to fit a finger or a whole hand into? It's a lovely cat, but it's fireworks night, and I've got a box of bangers. By box I'm afraid of I'm going to have to take care of your pussy overnight, if you know what I mean. By a box of bangers and taking care of pussy, I mean I have a thick sausage. Well, I genuinely think that's the first time anyone's ever whipped out a snake in here. <laughs> Hold on a second. I need a drink. Uh, what are you all listening for? <laughs> uh, well, no, no. We're up to world's worst veterinarian now. We're no longer auditioning. World's worst audition for the host of Mary McGillicuddy's Mighty Meat Pie Makers reality show. So I grind my own sausage on a regular basis. Hi, my name's Troy. I'm a vegan. <laughs> World's worst <laughs> circumciser. <laughs> Hi, my oh. name is Kilon Jong, and I have katana. 
Good afternoon, my name's Abu Hamza. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine, I'm having the cataracts removed next week. <laughs> <laughs> so just a little off the top. Oh, wait, World's this, Worth. The sword, that's from when I World's played Worth Barber. <laughs> so, you know Bert from Sesame Street? I did him. <laughs> yeah, but okay, he did his hair. I'm just going to do the clippers now. Can you just um, hold my cane for a moment? <laughs> <laughs> World's worst World's heart worst surgeon. Heart surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> like a surgeon cut in for the very first time. <laughs> this operation looks tricky. Quick, while he's unconscious, check his wallet. <laughs> oh. Wait, was that for the diplomat? <laughs> World's worst diplomat. Uh, hi, my name's Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> hi, my name's Kevin, and I'm representing England tonight. <laughs> I like things in my mouth. <laughs> World's, World's worst, worst skydiving instructor. You know what? Parachutes are for fucking pussies! <clears throat> So uh, don't forget to count to 5,000 before you pull it and keep going till I ejaculate. <laughs> you want to read the next one there? World's worth <laughs> our, uh, airline pilot. I'm so high I can fly without a plane. <laughs> so as we were getting on, some woman said to me, oh, you'll bring me down safely, won't you? So I said to her, well, I've never left anyone up there yet. <laughs> World's worth worst impressionist. Hi, I'm Kev. Hi, I'm Donald <laughs> Trump. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kev, acting like Donald Trump. A is World's for... worst. Okay. Go ahead. Go on. World's worst motivational speaker. Get the Seriously, fuck if out. you work hard. <laughs> Seriously, if you work hard every day, one day you two could be on Talk of the Tavern. That's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> 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 All it takes is 40 years of back-breaking, mind-numbing, spine-crushing, menial, minimum wage work, and you can earn the same amount of money I'm being paid for this seminar. Why even try? I mean, really, have you seen yourself? <laughs> good night, Ian. Good night, Victoria. Oh, good night, guys. Oh. We, we don't want to go it's on with the world's worst rapper because I think we covered that 10 minutes ago. Exactly. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Can, I just, can I just say as well, Ian, Victoria, it's been a pleasure having you, if you know what I mean. <laughs> we, we could go on with this. Let's go into a song first, though. What do we got next here? Oh, here's. The lovely matricula with D and D cowgirl. We'll Yay. Do okay, I need I to. Um, heard that one. I hadn't either. I played it before the show when I when I chose it. Um, I chose it off her new EP, which she just put out recently. So I don't have the link to that matricula. If you're still oh. listening, feel free to post a link. What, Kevin? Please, I was going to say I'll be back in a sec. I need to take the piss in an entirely different manner. In the American way. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah. And good night, Ian. Thank you for joining us, buddy. It was great having you here. Um, <laughs> I'm still here. Just have to go over to Real to listen. Okay. Go ahead, Victoria. We'll wait hey. here. We'll just wait here without you. It's okay. Don't worry about hey, it. Hey, at least she's still going to listen. She just can't look at us anymore. Yeah, I have that same problem <laughs> here, everyone. Greg, how you doing, man? You holding up okay? I'm still here. I'm still <laughs> awake. I answer the question, just avoiding it deftly. <laughs> You're doing great. Yeah. Uh, oh. So as always, I'm going to look back on this episode and think, what did I do last night? Why <laughs> did I do it? <laughs> what are you drinking now? That's just a squash, just to keep my voice going. It's a squash. It, it's squash juice. Orange squash. Yeah. Really? Like somebody squeezed we, a squash. We call it into- orange juice. Is it made from oranges or squash? It's a, it's a, a cordial. Word. You pour a little bit of, and then you fill it with water. Wait, you skipped on the first. You pour a little what? Then you fill it with water. 
<laughs> you, put, you pour a little bit of concentrate and then you fill it with water. It's it's fine. Oh, see, in the U.S., we're lazy. We buy it already, like, filled with water. And then they charge us more. I was going to say, then you're paying for water. <laughs> yes, we, yes, we are. This is why when you buy it, you actually buy the one that doesn't say from concentrate. Because concentrate is the stuff they take from the crap that wasn't quite good enough for the real stuff. They dehydrate it. They add sugar. They add water. They sell it back to you. And it's, frankly, rotten oranges with sugar to cover the crappy-ass taste. That's America. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and we got uh, 15 seconds. Ed's wearing, like, real pants. What the fuck? It must be cold. It must be. <laughs> okay, three seconds. We're coming back. And here we go. And we're back. So are we going on with World's Worst, or do you have something else? Wait a minute. Funky Punk Chuck says, I can see all of you even when you're not on Twitch. That is so creepy, but hot. Are you Santa? Seat. We could... <laughs> <laughs> he might be. We could go on with World's Worst, or we could just talk about random shit. What do you guys want to do? World's Worst. I'm, I'm voting for World's Worst. Yeah, let's just do with the game. Why not? No, 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 we, Ed, do you want to just join in on this, and I'll just shout out when we change? I think he already covered World's Worst Santa. No, we're going to cover <laughs> World's Worst Morgan Freeman impersonating. <laughs> Hi, yeah, I'm a white Morgan. guy, but I'm Morgan Freeman. <laughs> he made chuckles. That's the worst. Hi, my name's Roseanne Barr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, no. <laughs> okay, world oh. Santa. Go. You, I just, I've got the, the wonderful thing that I never thought I'd have happen tonight. Now, hearing Roseanne Barr's voice in my head narrating the opening scene to Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all. <laughs> um, okay, world's worst Santa. Nobody. I got nothing. No, I, I had several somethings and then realized I was on a live show. <laughs> 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 all of them immediately. <laughs> okay, so we can skip the sit on my lap reference. Anything uh, else? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, actually Funky Punk already did it with he. I can see all of you even when you're not on Twitch. I think that covers World's Worst Santa. World's Worst right. Repo Man. So I'm here for that sperm sample that you fertilized your egg with. So, uh, yeah, we've got to take your car away, but um, you're kind of hot. So do you want to borrow mine? <laughs> so that uh, that liver transplant you had last year. I'm afraid it's coming back. <laughs> we've come for your liver. World's worst. We made a movie about that. World's worst preschool teacher. Oh. So, so by, I don't the end, like kids. by the end of the day, every single one of you will be able to strip down and reassemble an AK-47 blindfolded. <laughs> so by the end of the day, the, all of you will be able to strip down. <laughs> <laughs> so no. I'm going to see you, teach you to dance. See this pole over here? <laughs> More screening cart. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to go World's Worst Greeting Card or World's Worst Greeting Card Writer? I guess same thing. Whatever. Greeting Card. What's the worst greeting card? Oh, wow. Um, hi? Hey, pay me $5. <laughs> no, that's what you do for the card. <laughs> World's no. Worst Mortician. I don't think it's dead. <laughs> I just want to assure you well, that I... they're still tight and hot. <laughs> Thank God I'm not the only thing around here that's stiff. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, what do you got for this one? <laughs> Mortician. Wait, which one of you is the corpse? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just no. felt the <laughs> baby blue frilled tux was better than black for this. Okay, World's worst elephant trainer. Did you see the balls on that one? 
<laughs> Did you see the cock on that one? <laughs> I always well, um, Go ahead. I'm never going to tell an elephant to sit without checking where I'm stood again. <laughs> now, when I said gently stroke the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> World's worst bank robber. Hi, I'm Donald Trump. Ooh, Ooh edgy. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just realizing that when I went with the stockings, I shouldn't have done fishnets. <laughs> <laughs> World's worst pole dancer. Stuff all the cash in the bag. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I was doing the previous one. <laughs> no, I think I, it worked. My brain registered the change. It just like you said it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it worked fine. <laughs> Ed, got anything for World's worst pole dancer? Get up on this. <laughs> you you could just like you could do visual stuff if you want. You don't have to just do you words. Could, if you've got a credit card, it's contactless. <laughs> <laughs> Stop swiping it along my ass crack. It doesn't register. <laughs> World's worst pan handler. I don't want to handle pans. <laughs> wow. God Hi, damn it, Bob. I've been here. I've been here all day searching for some decent quality grit, and all there is is this shiny yellow shit. See, he went with the gold pan handle. I'm thinking the guy yeah. on the side of the road begging for money. <laughs> That's a cultural difference there. Well, we used to have pan handlers, but then the gold rush was over. Now we have pan handlers who, yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm in college. Gold rush money. is over? It is. I didn't get that memo. <laughs> Oh, world's worst rodeo clown. No, that's a visual. (laughs) (laughs) Jamin is just working out all his psychological issues right now. (laughs) Is he cool? Let's do a sketch about that. No, I'm joking. World's worst psychic. Oh, we should have seen that one coming. Oh! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Not today. I have a headache. <laughs> uh, okay. It's still bullshit, really, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> Want to see my crystal ball? World's worst auctioneer at a charity auction auctioning off dates with eligible singles. Need a hooker? No. <laughs> well, and Jim, eligible uh, single number one, eligible single number one. No, don't worry. Don't worry about the fact that she doesn't seem to be moving. It's absolutely fine. He'll give me ten dollars. <laughs> I'm her mortician, and I need her back by three. <laughs> oh. Okay. Worst <laughs> sniper. Ed, you want to take this one? How far is that? <laughs> Oh, you want it in yards, not inches. Never mind. Oh, the other barn door. (laughs) Oh, world's worst psychiatrist. Then we'll call this done. Uh, I'll tell you what you want to do is if you're really struggling with life, just go on to some podcast and spill out all of your problems into the chat feed. (laughs) (laughs) And done. Need a fucking tissue? <laughs> you quit fucking crying all the time. Maybe you'd fix your goddamn issues. Wow, somebody slammed a door on that wish one. More, wish more therapists were like that. Like, hate therapists. Rather than all this positive, like, character building bullshit. Just like the guy from um, Full Metal Jacket as your psychiatric counselor. <laughs> they, Geico had a series of commercials. I think it was Geico where they took, uh, Ed, what's the Marine Sergeant's guy? That drove- That's who Kevin's talking about. Okay. Yeah. Need a tissue? Yeah. He throws the box at him. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, they did a whole theory like that. Yeah. Um. Okay, so it is half past. We got a half hour to go, and I think one more song. Oh. Yeah. What? You okay there? Let us know what you guys thought. Just, I'm over forty. Occasionally, things click and pop when I move. Yeah, wait till you hit forty-one. 
<laughs> we have lost viewers. Well, that's understandable. Oh. Oh. Uh, we were 15. 18 most of the night, and we got 15, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, we did okay. We did okay. Um, hey, all you guys. We haven't lost. We haven't lose. lost them. They lost themselves. That's right. They, they were lost before us. If well, some went to radio real because they couldn't look at us anymore. That's true, Victoria. Or they want to hear us. Did you ever come back? So, uh, <laughs> what do you guys think of the show? What What do you guys think? Yeah, I guess give us your thoughts. Uh, Me or us or them? What? 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 I I enjoyed it a lot. I had great fun tonight. It was oh. a blast. Although it was surprisingly shit at rapping, which annoyed me. <laughs> yeah, we, we did better than I ever thought we would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kevin, you laid down some mean raps on them points, man. So I figured, you know, you were yeah. going to be... Yeah. I think the trouble is that you got to do it like that. If you'd given me maybe... 60 seconds to come up with a better set of second rhymes. I might not have decided to try and change tack halfway. And oh, you, you're like time. Snoop Dogg, huh? you can spit it on the fly. <laughs> yeah, he spit on my fly once, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Fun- you, Talking Towie. Appreciate yeah, it. Laughed a lot. Glad to hear it. Uh, Funky Pop right, says, good, good show when you're finally tell Travis. Going to t- finally tell Travis he has a replacement? Oh, shit, did I say that out loud? No, you typed it, you fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, who needs a psychiatrist Frank- now? Frankly, what? we could never replace we could Need never a replace- tissue? <laughs> Sub- we could substitute him. But we could never replace him. They broke the mold. No, no. It's just like you can't replace the bottom of what's on the trash heap either because it's fucking molded to shit. Greg is spinning. Greg is spinning. Wow. Greg, you had too much to drink, man. (laughs) You had so much to drink, you're spinning for us. (laughs) Camera work. It was definitely a Star Trek convention. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no, Klingons. Have you heard the new Star Wars movie is going to be over two hours long? It is Mm -hmm. the longest Star Wars movie yet. Busted (laughs) rhymes. Yeah. Intriguing. Yeah, we'll see. It'll be a good hours. Well, there, uh, now, how many of us are Star Wars fans? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Andrea's like, yeah, if I must be, because peer pressure. <laughs> um, I like it. So, uh, the the title, instead of being glowing blue, is glowing red this time, which they've never done that before. Um, I think Luke's face Me is deal. where the villain's face normally is in the poster. It's going to be longer, so I'm really hoping we get a few surprises here. And now, you guys all watched the trailer? No, I've, yeah, I've not seen it once. Okay, I, I'm going to talk yeah. about it here. So, spoilers from the fucking trailer. There is a point in time where there is like a burning house, as Lucas narrating over top of it, and it shows a mechanical hand coming out of it. The only person left alive, as far as we know with a mechanical hand is Luke. So I'm assuming that's when, uh, what's his fake? Kylo Ren burnt down the house and Luke was stuck in it. But at the same time, he's talking about power and stuff. So I'm wondering if Kylo Ren broke away because Luke was a dick or evil, either one. Maybe, I mean, it'd be interesting if they do the evil side, because in the expanded universe with the books and stuff, there right. is a period in the timeline where Luke turns to the dark side and then comes back again. See, it also mentions Luke says to Ray, I've only seen this much power one time, and I didn't fear it enough or respect it enough then. Now I do. I forget what he says in the trailer, so correct me if you know. Which would... That, I mean, it's intriguing because that kind of fits with the philosophy as well, doesn't it? Because yeah. the Sith are all about raw power and anger and the Jedi have always been about control and balance. So, Well, I think that's a misleading thing. I think most viewers are going to go, well, that's about Kylo Ren. He saw this raw power in Kylo Ren. I'm mm. thinking he saw it in himself. Mm. Especially, yeah, maybe. Like right after he says that, it shows a hand coming out of the, the rubble of the burning place. I, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Mm, should be good. I'm intrigued to see how they develop it now. Ed? 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you hear about the other trilogy? What? Oh, oh, yes. Yes. They have announced a new trilogy taking place during the timeline, but on the other side of the other galaxy. Other side of the universe, yeah. Not yeah. related to Skywalkers oh. at all. And I'm actually very excited about this, especially after Rogue One. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Where, you know, of course, I think the Empire will be involved because the Empire which, is all Which is the best Star Wars movie ever, by the way. It really is. Yeah, it made me love Star Wars all over again. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I'm more excited about a brand new trilogy unrelated to the Skywalkers than I am about the Solo movie, which, by the way, we've all heard the upcoming title of the Solo movie. No. no. So, Solo, a Star Wars story. Okay. Mm. Is it about a red cup? It but, uh, is. Oh. <laughs> it is. With a hairy thing in it. It might be testicles. Hard to tell. College years. Wookie balls. <laughs> How hairy are those? Like a triple. Red <laughs> rocket. <laughs> Another amazing Star Wars Star Trek crossover. Oh. <laughs> By the way, guys, um, did you add up the points? Did you figure out who won? Uh, I win. Because none of us are competitive, of course, <laughs> but just to satisfy Travis's gear. Okay. Also. For the, the rounds, who won the round? Kevin won the most. <laughs> Even with the negative 1,000 points that I gave him or no, whatever. He won the was. most yeah. rounds. Oh, okay. the he most won rounds. the most rounds. But Greg won with the most points. No, I, I want to point out that Jamin gave me like a million billion points on one. <laughs> he gave them to you? Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, you're still lost. It's okay. <laughs> oh. So, home team win all round then, Greg. Nice oh, I would say time. so, yeah. I would say whichever way we play it, the Brits win. Yeah, yeah nice. Oh, <laughs> For once. <laughs> homo team. <laughs> and we did uh, mention this before, but we were actually um, playing this game for the repatriation of the colonies, so... Mm. Oh, I thought you were playing for Australia. I just uh, want to say, yeah. oh, thank goodness. When can we get <laughs> to come over? Because we do health care badly. <laughs> <laughs> And paprika Pringles. Yeah, um, I Kevin, need this. Greg, do you, you know what Pringles are, right? I know what yeah. Pringles are. Okay. In, they, they in know Europe, what they are. They have pa- paprika Pringles, which we don't have here. And we can't get them. No, my mistake. We could buy them on Amazon for $35 plus shipping for two cans of goddamn Pringles. Uh, yeah. Christmas. Are you saying I don't business? want to pay that much. Yeah, Kevin. Uh, You've seen yeah, a business right, opportunity. Yeah. The import export business. Hey, Kevin, let me just say this. If you're going to send food in the summer, don't send chocolate to 95 degree weather. Send Pringles. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Pringles if you don't want me summer. to send chocolate in 95 degree weather, don't berate me on a constant weekly basis that you haven't had an orange club biscuit since you left the UK. Andrea. I can't promise anything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying the, the chocolate. Oh, they were great. It doesn't matter. There's still some in the fridge, actually. Yeah, three. Yeah, she knows. Christmas. They've been They're counted. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You'll have to see what Santa sends you. Yeah, I do. What? Mm. <laughs> oh, that's not creepy. Are we gonna read? What will he bring you in his bulging sack? <laughs> Sperm. <laughs> Kevin, so, give us a profile there real quick. Let's see what's going on here. Not a lot, mate. Not a lot? No, it's uh, hard to tell, but... Greg's yeah, there's got a all of us beat at the moment. See, Mine's slightly stealth by the fact that most of it is grey as well. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, see, I, I get a better advantage with grey than you do. Yeah, so you, you get the contrast better than I do, yeah. yeah, yeah if I was black, Carry my beard better. would show. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can feel it. And then I look in the mirror, I'm like, no, there's seven fucking hairs that I can see. <laughs> oh, what you cheek, so, you know. Greg, there's something called Movember. Are you familiar with this? I am familiar with it, okay. yes. Well, we decided we'll mention their website, but we're not going to raise money for them. Let's send people directly to the source, cut out the middleman. But we'll go ahead and grow our facial hair just for the fun of it and also so we remember to mention Movember because we're all like, I really want to shave because, oh, my God, this is nasty. 
I know, right? I've, I've just got through the itchy phase over the last. I, few I did days. too, just just the other day, because I had the razor in my hand like four <laughs> days ago, and I was like, oh, "Wait a minute!" <laughs> I had to see the only like, when I did uh, Movember properly. I did because um, I just did just the moustache for a month. Hmm. And boy, do I look creepy with just a moustache for a month. <laughs> yeah, I, I think most people look creepy with just a moustache until it gets to this. And then you're like, oh, no, that's okay. But yeah, yeah. just like Burt Reynolds and three other guys, Magna P.I., Burt Reynolds, and one other guy I can't remember looks okay with just a moustache. Aren't they the same people? They kind of are, yeah. They're just the next generation. <laughs> I think the third generation, the modern generation, would be that guy from uh, – that sitcom that uh, Star Lord came from, Parks and Rec. I've seen that once. That it's an American thing. You wouldn't understand, Kevin. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> We're American. We don't understand much anyway. So, what do we have next week? Oh, that's a good question. We only got twenty what minutes. Are we to go. You know what? Let's, 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 for? Our makeup show. What? Uh, We're putting on makeup. How not to pick up women or something like that? or the booty uh, call protocol. Hold that, on. That's it. We're Same going thing. To, we're going uh, to of course, the reschedule one. <laughs> okay, I've got songs going. Now we can keep talking on Twitch. Uh, it's Gray Reinhardt. I think I'll run for Congress. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. The next week's good. booty call protocol? Yeah, I'm guessing it's yeah. just us. Unless Greg's going to stay up really late again. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, just like every week. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Greg, just, it's you know, always good fun, isn't it? Yeah, you're you're always it's, welcome. When, when airship, uh, when the last airship comes out, let us know. Come on for ten minutes. Go to bed. Oh, after you, yes. After you, yeah. Come after. plug the fuck out of it. Yeah, not while on air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be great, Greg. Can you like just take off the headset, mute it, and then like fall asleep on camera? Take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wouldn't be the worst thing I've done on air, would it? <laughs> no, no. Mm. Like, I'll replay the show later and let you know what that's been. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was thinking of um, the end of the uh, my first appearance on uh, Sounds of Steam, where I was on the at uh, the Loch Ness. Yes, yeah. and, and we ended up with Nessie sneaking into the tent and. <laughs> 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 She's a Scottish lass with a long neck <laughs> and no hair. I'm not sure Andrew's going to be pretending. Actually, I think she's actually just going to fall asleep. <laughs> I'm trying to find her. the page for the next show. Uh, booty call protocol. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing we are not having Bob Lowell on. I'm not counting. Uh, on that. No, Bob's going to be home. Uh, that's after Thanksgiving week, so he's going to be home and. Maine or something like that, killing helpless little uh, turkey wood creatures. Yeah, Bambi and stuff like that. Yeah. What? Well, he's going hunting with his dad. It's a, it's a tradition over Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Well, no big deal. He doesn't listen to us anymore. We miss you, Bob. <laughs> he can't hear you. I know. So it looks like. Yeah, we got Booty Call Protocol. Then on the 4th, we're supposed to have Conspiracy They Are Out to Get Us, where Mad Hatter is joining us, or Mad Hatter T. And then on the 11th, we have Holiday Madness and Capitalistic Opportunities, where we're just going to bitch <laughs> about Not us. so much bitching. Yeah, about, Here we go. Yeah, about oh. greeting cards for three hours. We can do it. About grading cards? Of course we can. We can do anything. Yeah. So, Uh-oh. Ed, no, have, Harry. have you watched Stranger Things Season 2? I haven't watched Stranger Things Season 1. Season 1 is better than Season 2. Not that Season 2 is bad, just... You know how you watch a season, you're like, this is great. And then like season two, you're like, eh, I've got other things I can do while watching this. And then by season three, you're like, oh, it's already done? Have you seen The Good Place? Were you just Netflix? describing Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? 
No, no, that would yes. have been the first episode, and then the second episode, <laughs> you do something else. By the third episode, you're like, oh, they finished season three? <laughs> yeah, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Ugh. Such huge... Po- have you watched Inhumans? Is that any good? I haven't watched Inhumans. I watched the, I've only seen the very first episode. It was okay, but I've not watched enough of it to judge it yet. Yeah, is this is there even a Joey third says, one? Talk and Toys think season two was better. Of for Stranger Things. Stranger really? Things, I'm assuming. That's when it popped up. You I know, like them both. Well I'm gonna uh, watch it again. I think with me, I've just watched so much T V in the past few months, I'm like I'm I'm nothing is great anymore. I'm just ready to do something else and miss T V for a while. And we're coming back here in two seconds. Okay, we're back to wrap up the show. 15 minutes ago, well, 14 minutes and 15 seconds, and we'll play the outro. Mm. Now, uh, well, Netflix just posted up Punisher. I haven't watched any of it yet. So, I've so. That's watched. weird, because I was literally just about to mention that myself. So we were just <laughs> talking about, if you, for those of you who are on the radio, we were just talking about TV shows. Um, I have loved The Punisher for many years. It was the first comic I bought as a kid that wasn't, like, uh, I mean, like this will be something that means nothing to the American audience, but something like Dandy or the old Buster or something, you know. So it was my first kind of adult kids comic, and and I absolutely loved the storyline of it. And the movies that they've done of it in the past have been meh at best. They, yeah, uh, and it always kind of felt to me like there was this huge scope for potential for this incredibly dark character with this horrendous storyline that no one ever really capitalized on okay. now, i've only watched the first four episodes which is unusual because it's all out on what? netflix let me and normally that'd be a bit uh, let me yeah, go on. did you watch daredevil season two yeah okay so you've seen the storyline yeah. opening up punisher okay by the way yeah. i have watched 10 or 11 out of the 13 episodes Cool. I fell asleep to all but one. Yeah, and by the way, Funky Punk says TV gets boring after a while. I agree. The undertones of Punisher, yeah. I think, tackle some serious topics. Absolutely agree. <clears throat> Here's what I want to talk Same about. Same thing can be said about the Orville with the topics. Yeah, the topics on Orville are great. They actually cover serious social topics once you get a few episodes in. But with Punisher, they have not introduced Jigsaw yet which I'm thrilled for because that opens... I, I think they're building up to one of the characters in Season 1 becoming Jigsaw, but I'm not sure. Um, and I'm curious because I'm, there's there's a couple that I'm not sure mm-hmm. who it could be. Um, but all in all, here's the deal. If you've never watched Punisher, you can sit down and enjoy this show. If you've casually or watched Red Punisher... If you've casually read the comics, there's enough to make you go, oh, yeah, I think. But if you have watched Punisher Ke- or read Punisher, Kevin, this is where I'm turning to you. What do you think as a avid mm. Punisher fan? It's Like I say, it's hard to judge because I've only watched the first four. One of the things that hit me about the tone of the program so far is I like the fact that they've not pulled the punches when it comes to delivering the violence. Yeah. Because for me, that was always a trademark about but the it's character not over of the Punisher. Top, like t- Punisher War no, Journal. Yeah, if I mean they, that they, movie that was like a gore uh, fest. Yeah, um, and they they've kind of hit the perfect balance with it so far. In that none of it is too like ridiculously Hollywoody, if that makes sense, mm-hmm. you know. But there is enough sort of oh, like brief moments of brutality that, you know, it's not yeah. shocking, but it's enough to make you go, Oh damn, man, that must have hurt. You know, now, Ed, um, if you watch this, I'm curious about your point of view for the American military. And cause he, he brings a lot of that into the show. The well, I was just about to ask Kevin, um, going back to the old comic book days, did you ever see any of the old nom comic books where they explained the origins of Punisher? Yes, uh, I mean it's a long it's a long time since I read them, but I yeah I do vaguely remember that that yeah. I just dug them out the other day. That's why. Yeah. I awesome. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, I don't have mine anymore. When I you know when you're a kid, you don't realize how much you're going to want to hang on to some of the things like that. By the way, Chuck, I've got a few- I know you're listening and watching. If you have anything to add, just throw it in the chat there. I'll, I'll we we'll, we will respond to it. With yeah, you're stupid. But go on. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, 
Kevin. Yeah, I'm anxious so I, to see it. I haven't seen any of it yet, but I'm very anxious to see yeah, it. Uh, <laughs> maybe you know next week after you watch an episode or four, whatever you get through in a week. Um, I'll be curious to hear how you. I, I'd also be in. Yeah, I'd be curious, same as Travis, from a military practical. Per, but yeah, from a practical point of view, how accurately they're they're portraying that kind of side of it. But yeah, I, I'm looking forward to this. I think I'm probably more enthusiastic about this in terms of an interpretation of Punisher than I have been about anything I've seen so far. So cool. Yeah, that's cool. And, and by the way, for Chuck, I'm going to respond to your last comment first. You're dumb. Um, as for her, <laughs> as the Punisher, I think was a good uh, 2004 Punisher was a good adaptation about the Frank Castle. And how he became Punisher, more of a Punisher origin story, and not the main being what the Punisher yeah. became. Yeah, in the mm-hmm. TV series, they do it as a series of flashbacks, and extensive flashbacks, heavily going into the psychology of PTSD without ever labeling it that. Mm-hmm. And, and that's kind of. The word nice is a cruel word to use in this point, but it is. It's kind of nice because they're not like, oh, PTSD, PTSD. No, they're like, this is how it, it, it scars your psyche. Mm. Um, which, Ed, that, that could be a whole show on its own. PTSD 1980 versus PTSD 2017. You know, and the difference, because yeah. it existed. Or, or, or even 2017, go back to 1945. Yeah, yeah, it's because uh, yeah. we did have shell shock. Right. Yeah, right, um, and, and a lot of people were told to suck it up, Buttercup. Suck it up, yeah, suck it up. Um, which, on one hand, depending on your level, might be valid, but on the other hand, depending on your level, no, that's not going to mm-hmm. help or work or do anything positive. So. Uh, Ed, the, I know we joke about me like working in a castle and it being stereotypically British. Uh, it's not actually a castle, obviously. It's just a castle-shaped, large old former stately home kind of thing. But it's um, the building it's housed in was originally a um, recuperative hospital just after the Second World War for soldiers suffering from shell shock and also from tuberculosis because the weather down here on the south coast was easier on the lungs. So yeah, many many moons ago, before it was turned into a, a hotel and bar, it was a, a convalescent hospital for military. By the way, Chuck here says w- regarding PTSD. I'm guessing it's in your face with it, but not sensation- sensationalizing it in the current series, not putting a spin on it, but not asking mm. for pity. Which I agree because mm-hmm. there are multiple ex soldiers whether marines army or whatever in the series who are obviously conflicted or suffering. see i picked i picked up on that. i mean i don't want to i'm trying not to say anything about it for people who've not seen anything right. but yeah even in the first four episodes i i can kind of see that developing anyway that that being an implied storyline as it were you know that he's going that that's what he's going through but obviously with dealing it with the flashbacks and stuff. I really right. like that as well. I liked the point at which they chose to start the very first episode. Right. Because if you do know anything about the, the Punisher story, you kind of always expect them to at least go back towards the origins a bit more because mm-hmm. it's normal for them to try and establish the character and where they come from. And I like the fact that they haven't done that with this. I mean, they do do that via the medium of these flashbacks. And as you say, the, the sort of, psyche behind that but and if you have yeah, watched daredevil season two they're not right. repeating the same information any more than absolutely necessary um so yeah it's very nice it's uh and of course it has its link ups with the other series um in that you have karen the one who was the legal secretary become reporter so it has its tie-in without putting itself on the shoulders of the others. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, really well done. And like I said, whether you're a Punisher fan or never even heard of it, I feel like it's a series you could watch and depending where your background is, you get different things out of it. And, okay. Yay. So we got, yeah, there we go. Yay. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, 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 we'll talk about this again next week, by which point, hopefully, Ed will have managed to at least watch one or two episodes, and I'll probably have binge watched the entire I, I'm time. not going to get any damn sleep tonight. I can see that coming up now. I was uh, oh. going downstairs, turn on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't, mean, I didn't realize that was actually put that much of a spark of an interest in you. Um, yeah. did, did anybody watch The Defenders? Mm-hmm. No, do you know what? Actually, funny enough, I started watching it and watched the first couple, and then it's just. But then I've got all kinds of stuff where this is the problem. I've got too many things on the go at once. I need to finish a couple of things off so I can focus on the rest. Right. Well, here's what I have to say about Defenders. No spoilers. I saw one person on Facebook do their little personal review, saying they could have called the last last episode. 12 people fighting in the dark and you can't tell what the fuck's going on. Totally agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're like, yeah. oh shit, the light's on in the room. I can't tell what's going on TV. Let me turn off the lights. And you do that. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, now I can see. Cool. Yet yeah, Defenders, not so much. You're still like, uh... In the dark. Somebody punch mm-hmm. somebody. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. You know what it comes out? I think it's next week. Runaways. Runaways on Hulu. I'm very excited for and that. And Cloak and Dagger like is being produced into a series if anybody enjoyed them. Greg, what's your take on all this? <laughs> I'm just thinking I don't watch any television at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? You don't have to act like you're better than us. <laughs> <laughs> it's because Greg lives on a part of the island where they're still installing television as we speak. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I'll show you my television. I'll, I'll show you my television. I've got it over here. Is it going to be one of the round screens? Of oh, Star wow. College State. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well done. Nice. Well done. What's that, a 13-inch? <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember I had 19-inch TV for years, and I remember before flat screen was really available, people talking about their 36 and 42-inch TVs, and I'm like, I've never had larger than a 19-inch TV. And then I got like a 32-inch TV solid state. I'm like, this fucker is heavy. Yep. <laughs> my, my kids thought it hilarious when I told them the other day that um, our first TV was about the same size as a sideboard unit. And it only had three buttons on the front. Because that was the channels. A button for oh, channel yeah. one, a button yeah. for BBC2, and one for ITV. But I had a good old-fashioned push-in buttons. That was my first the, the TV. Big rock, the... the big rocker paddles. Yeah. You know, the, the, the kind of thing that like, basically was about the same size as the sole of your shoe. And its, in, oh, it's sole function was to switch it on and off. Yeah. Also had an interesting function because you only have one button down at a time, obviously, because you only have one channel on. So when you pushed one button in, the other two would snap back up again, which yeah. would obviously like, catch the knuckles of unsuspecting users, You know, occasionally break a hand. Hold on, I'm trying to decipher Chuck's message. It's it, huge. It, tube. It's a huge TV. It's all secrets. It will do what things? Chuck is Swedish. What? I think you forgot to add burp, burp, burp at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Peter I, I think the booze is finally kicking in. Yeah. Yeah. Chuck's <laughs> reactive outpouring is beginning to make sense now. Those huge sausage-like <laughs> fingers. <laughs> it, it's, it's, Otter. A, it's like hoarding the elephant typing right there. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> okay, we got three minutes. Let's see what we could do to wrap this up before we go into the outro. We need a closing toast as well. Oh, yeah, let's do that closing toast. Uh... Thanks, Kevin, for just redeeming your cock one more time before we close. <laughs> Three minutes left. Better get my cock in. Started drinking the meat. See, Chuck, I've never been a big meat fan. It's really way too sweet to, for me. Uh, no. Yeah, it's, I, I, I like meat. So- uh, there's what? a guy on the island here who makes it because we're kind of like the weird like hippie commune slash redneck south of England. So there's a lot of like pagan uh, hand fastings and a big sort of strong Wiccan community here on the island. And so he he single-handedly makes like, shit loads of meat every year and stuff like that. So it's, yeah, it's nice, but it's a bit sickly in large quantities. You can't just sit there banging it back by the pint all night. So. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I like a bit of frothy head. 
cherry honey mead, 11% Viking alchemist. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I don't want 11% of Viking anything in something I'm drinking. That's disgusting. Unless that's what you're into, then good for you. Cherry honey mead. I don't know about that. Tears of frenemies. <laughs> um, yeah. Here's the laughing. Yeah, I'll always here, be here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. You guys have a great week. We'll see you next week for Booty Call Protocol, which is a do-over. And we'll catch you next time. For Thanks Radio for being with Real, us tonight, guys. Radio. Yep, absolutely. Good night, guys. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. For you, oh, you're skipping Booty Call Protocol. I don't I don't blame you, Wynn. Um, but I, I wouldn't too worry about it too much. Um, for the rest of you on Twitch or if you're watching on YouTube, once I post it over there for YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Leave your comments and thoughts below. Do, um, do the shit. Click the links. You know the business. Don't need us whatever to Whatever it you. is. Push our buttons. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Is it there? Yeah. And we're out of here. Okay, <laughs> guys.